authorized and activated. Life is engaged. What Did you say beerges? What? <laughs> Root beer. Root beer cheers. Oh, okay. Wow. That's not what I heard. Hello! <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Friday night's news show. 4524. Or 04524 with no dashes, spacious slashes. Because uh, I like doing weird things. <clears throat> I got Toasty with me tonight. Toasty, if you want to do an introduction for what you do on your stream and in the community. I am a retro variety streamer who <laughs> mostly streams at special events. Uh, I like to support other streamers and uh, good to see Sakura in the crowd. We're uh, probably the two biggest cheerleaders of the retro community around. <laughs> welcome in. Welcome in, Tonda, Kinikos, uh, Absentia. Uh, Bell Morton, like an apple. Exactly. Mr. B. Start at 04052. That's why, you know, my I don't know why I, did, I didn't know why I did numbers like that. It's because I watched Star Trek as a kid, and it sounded cool. I You just, like, unraveled a mystery in my brain of why I would do things like that. But yes, <coughs> that's actually funny. Mr. B's always on point. Yeah, you nailed it with that. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Okay, so this is the fourth episode of the new new variation of news show, uh, where we're doing more curated, quicker segments um, than the the five, six, seven hour slog that it used to be. I think Tosi had you on it like about a year ago today, didn't I? I was on for the previous epic version, and we yeah. were up till one in the morning my time. Yeah, it was pretty rough. But that was like that was in the late winter, early spring, right? Yeah, it was uh, yeah. one of the last few you did. Hang on, I can. I'm, I'm going. We're going to the VODs on YouTube because now I'm curious. Has it been like an exactly a year? Because that would be some shit. 
detour time. All right, channel. Tocino. Uh, it was 04, 1423. Wow. <laughs> Almost that's like, exactly That's like here. next week. That would be like next Friday. Yeah, next Friday is the 12th. Wow. Huh? You know, it's 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 funny because <laughs> it's an anniversary stream then. Yeah, it, it's funny because like you know, I weren't if I wasn't gonna have you sit in on this one, you know, I was gonna put you on next week. This is just this is kind of amazing. Oh man, that's wild. You know, one day, <laughs> one day, I'll make all my uh, dumb YouTube videos public. <laughs> hey bomber, welcome in. God, I can't believe it was that close. That's tripping me up. All right. Shall we dive into the news? Yeah, let's uh, see what we got tonight. We have our beautiful graphics here from uh, uh, Dan Van Dam, which are animated in the actual document and lovely. But of course, I'm burning them out to a PDF so that I don't accidentally edit things with break links because, you know, I just get near a keyboard and it's like da 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 da. <clears throat> All right. So. Fucking embracer, man. As we know, a couple weeks ago we talked about this, but Embracer sold off a bunch of their stuff. They closed a whole bunch of studios and fired half of everybody, right? Just bad deal. And this is after spending the last uh, six years gobbling up all these studios that were doing just fine. And now they're putting out a statement like, uh, Embracer CEO says it's way too early for the company to start talking about acquiring new studios. Yo, what the fuck? Please, please don't talk, acquire any more studios. Yeah, please don't even let that shit cross your mind. Just, oh. Uh. Stop killing our games? Yeah. yeah, well, that's a different thing. We're going to be talking about that. Let me, <laughs> let me tell you. That's a hot topic for right now. I might actually put that in self-promote for, uh, um, for, um, Ross. Is it Ross Games Dungeon? Ross's Game Dungeon? Ross? I think. Ross something. Yeah. We'll be talking about that. Um, uh, yeah, yeah so... A, just a serious amount of uh, loss in the tech industry of jobs recently, and not a lot of it makes sense. How do you make product without the people that make your product? Oh, we, I think we talked about this last week, but... Or I read an article about it and it didn't get included. I can't remember, but the people that they're they're only keeping new blood. All of these companies they are only keeping new blood. Everybody that has any experience, any know-how, all of the job knowledge base is what they're getting rid of. Old people who they have to pay too much money because they're smart. They know what the fuck they're doing. And they've been making games for a long time. And that is a devastating thing to know. I think we're going to see a lot of new indie game companies very soon. You know, and there's... a lot of people with, you know, bankruptcy, but hey. Maybe. And I hope so. I hope that's right. But there's another article coming up that's like, I don't know. I got to be honest. This week, there were a couple articles in here that just, they really felt like doom and gloom for the game industry. Like, in the worst way. Uh, especially, like... I don't know. Well, you guys, you guys will go on this journey with me. I'm not going to spoil it all now, but like, fuck, it ain't, it ain't great out there. It ain't great out there. Yeah. They shed like 1300 plus jobs, canceling dozens of games, shutting down studios like the time splitter developer free radical volition's gone. Right. So that's, you know, the red I, faction. I just played a volition game recently and loved it. Yeah. Red faction, red faction, descent, um, saints row. Clearly, I really do think they missed the mark with the last answer. Or, like, I don't think that that's the word on the street. I haven't actually played it. Yeah, I've actually... I have it. I just haven't tried it yet. Yeah, most Volition games were gold. Yeah, like, when are we... Are we ever going to see another... Uh... <laughs> are we ever going to see another... Red Faction game? Probably not. It's probably dead. I mean, I don't know. I guess Embracer still owns, still owns it. I enjoyed the uh, the first Red Faction Gorilla game, but 
the subsequent games just didn't feel as good to me. There was just one after that. It was the uh, after uh, Armageddon. Apocalypse or something. Yeah, Armageddon. Armageddon. I had a friend that played it. He really liked it. The first two, those were the wild experimental ones. Yeah, it was early in uh, destructible environment technology. Yeah, I mean, this is the same Resident people Shooters. that made like the uh, the screens and descent that you could shoot out with blasters with the impulse. Good stuff, that. Yeah, um, Descent was one of my first games. Like, It came with my first computer. Yeah. Oh my god, I have so many demo special edition copies of Descent for various controllers. and. Uh, it, yeah. it, they, they, they packed it in with everything they could, which was honestly pretty awesome. Yeah. That's a household name because of... Sad state of affairs. Uh, let's see. Uh, had closed a divested had a negative cash flow what remains is not for sale so they're not selling any more of the studios they're hanging on to stuff um where is it where is it this quote ah looking to uh looking to do more mergers and acquisition acquisitions deals um i think it's way too early to start talking about restarting the MMA engines again. Wing 04s said when asked about uh, future acquisitions. The focus right now is to increase profitability, cash flow generation by simply making better products and games. Okay, how are you going to do that without all the quality workers you find? They still got, they still got a metric fuck ton. Okay. Um, yeah. Who does Bracer own? Um, no, no, I just want to see a list. Uh, 11 operative groups, including THU Nordic, includes ATB Destroyal, Humans, Wreckfest, Titan Quest, Biomutant, Gothic, Helix, Kingdoms Valmar, uh, Play On, which is Deep Silver and Milestone, Coffee Saints Studios. Saber Interactive, which I they, they just got rid of, right? Uh, Deca Games, D E C A. Hmm. I don't know that one. Gearbox, they had Gearbox. Dark Horse Comics, interestingly. Um, Coffee Stay makes uh, satisfactory. Satisfactory. They also make goats. <laughs> yeah, goats are hilarious. It's, though. it's arguable which one is their better franchise. I think they also made that Sanctum. Um, a first-person tower defense game that was co-op. Yeah, I think they made Sanctum. I think, I, I think I've played it, but I don't remember it. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. You either really like it or, or you're just kind of whatever about it. Um, Idos Montreal, they had Deus Ex and Marvel. Well, the, the Deus Ex game got canceled. There was... They were working on a, a third cool to Human Revolution, I guess. That got canceled. <clears throat> um... But yeah, Crystal Dynamics is is working on a Tomb Raider game that's supposed to unify the timelines. I don't know. What a mess. They own yeah. some of the best franchises out there and just kind of just ugh. Well, the most recent release from THQ that I played, Biomutant, I wasn't actually delighted by. It was just okay. Yeah, that one seemed interesting. I've never gotten around to it. No, it was not their third Adam Jensen game with something new. Oh, okay. But it got canceled, right, Sakura? Elias Defects has said that. Okay. I... It's dead. Okay, we won't even, we won't even talk about it. All right, here's, here's the other one that kind of bummed me out a lot. Uh, there's a lot of, like, jumping to conclusions at the end of this article that were really saddening, but... Uh, basically, it's like 60% of playtime in 2023 was spent with old games. They keep calling it old games, but here on the title, it's six-year-old games. And you're like, oh, yeah, old games, retro games, yada yada. No, it's Fortnite. It's Counter-Strike yeah, 2. It's it, Dota. It, it, it's just the industry has stagnated on the few <laughs> core games that people get addicted to. and There's still a lot of people playing those games. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto V, which is, what, a decade old or more now, I think? Minecraft? Yeah, Roblox? Yeah, they just... They're just barely talking about releasing GTA 6 in the next couple of years. Yeah. So, this is interesting, because, like, you know, these aren't games that you and I really pay attention to. I Maybe you play Fortnite, I'm not sure. I actually... 
I, I thought it was really cool when it came out pre-release, and I actually ended up paying for Fortnite somehow. Yeah. Uh, and then I was yeah, I mean, I'm very, gonna, very I'm disappointed. I'm not going to shame what you do with your kids, right? I, I, no, I was like disappointed. I got a ton of I got a ton of loot boxes. I played it about three times and never played it again. So here's, however, they got this this information. Um, the one of the biggest games that's been released in the longest time with Baldur's Gate, right? We can all acknowledge that. Like when we're we're not into Call of Duty, we're not into Roblox, we're not into Fortnite, it was Baldur's Gate 3, which accounts for 8% of video game playtime was spent between that and Diablo 4 and some other things. So okay, Baldur's, Gate, yeah. Baldur's Gate 3 and Diablo didn't even account for a whole 8% themselves. That's why we are the minority in gamers. Yeah, who's uh, who's playing all that Fortnite? I guess teen there's a lot of teenagers with computers everybody but us not just computers remember which they have a mobile version that also connects and you got to think also like i mean india they they have a whole mar like all of the gaming phones in the world are marketed to just india and china and some other places but like you know that's for stuff like you know fortnite and call of duty online and or call of duty mobile and, and and it's but it's on your phone because i guess having a desktop pc doesn't make sense in places like that no it doesn't not with not without reliable power and yeah whatnot and sh or sh really strict curfews on that stuff i don't i don't know all the details on it but it sounds pretty dire <clears throat> so here okay the 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 bottom the bottom paragraph in here was the thing that made me sad um okay this is this is news zoo in the report. This is not the person that wrote the article. I was listening to it, so I wasn't sure who actually said that, but it's in quotes here. Um, it will be increasingly challenging to grow a player base, a game's player base, said New Zoo in this report. Um, particularly in the current landscape where evergreen titles and robust content pipelines reign supreme. In other words, good luck if you aren't making a big sequel, remake, or an annual entry in some popular series. Oof. Oh no, people are still playing Minecraft. Yeah, but like this is the. Uh, we already know that nobody's planning on taking any chances. It's gonna be really dry for like uh, video games that aren't just cash cows right now. But like they're just they're driving it home, you know. It is really gonna be indies that carry us, you know. It's gonna be fun stuff and coming from people like Cosmic Void, you know, or, or whatever it is. Th there's never been an easier time to become an indie developer or more support out there to do it. So. Well, and that's also the other problem, which is why we're looking at, you know, the, the the new releases on Steam, because fuck me, I don't even want to look at all of them. There's so many. Like, but just how do you... Who's we're making doing, fun games is what we're looking for. Uh, like, we're, we're doing this show specifically to highlight some things, because it's so stressful to find a new game to play out there when there's a thousand games released every week on Steam, right? Like this, yeah, like, this, is, this is as much for me to keep up with new releases as it is. I know there are other people probably struggling too. <laughs> how, how do you find about new games when the news cycle is dominated by one game? It's true. It's true. Um, okay. This one was interesting. I think this is. Hey, uh, Brian, welcome in. Th this one boils down to there's a free D and D Beyond campaign you can grab. I think that this said that it was was set in the Planescape universe at the bottom, maybe, or maybe that was something else. Uh, I, I think it's, yeah, like Planescape Torment and the campaign's set around like a staircase where you go between different campaign modules. So it uh, lets you connect different content in your D&D world in a cohesive way, sort of. Yeah. Um, is it is it Rai or Re from Earth? I want to make sure I say that right. It says, my sister-in-law works for Roblox, and it's insane how few artists they employ and how much money they make. Literally just making money off of the labor of children for the most part. I know, that's wild, right? Right, no, right. right. Okay, got it. <clears throat> so, there was... Yeah, they're, they're doing this campaign. I don't really know that much about it, but what I did see here was... Well, this is a weird word. Um, 
So cars. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me see if I can get this thing to say it, because I, I heard it. So can't. So can't. They just so added can't. a. They add, they filled it full of silent letters. <laughs> I, I read it as so Karth yes. without hearing it, so that's not bad. If anybody was wondering how I prepare for this show, I use this to listen to these websites while I'm doing other things. Um, so what was interesting here is like this campaign from 1982 that they're, um, that they're they're pulling from. It was it was notable for killing characters instantly. Matter of fact, uh, which has one party member being crushed by rocks before even making it to the dungeon, a common occurrence back in the day. <laughs> yeah, this is was... where all your all your favorite players go to die. I, I think it was uh, Gary Gygax took the time to make a dungeon with as many tr diabolical traps as he could think of, and that's where that module came from. Oh, that so one's actually kind of legendary. What what is this computer in the background? It's beautiful. Is that a is that an IBM PS One? That is an IBM PC XT uh, from 1982. It You're is. Gonna... Uh, Family heirloom. You're gonna make me wheel my Amstrad in here because I'm feeling jealous. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta fire that sucker up this weekend. Cool. <clears throat> you gonna you gonna share on Discord? Oh, I, I'd definitely be streaming it if when I fire it up. Oh hell yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, levels one up to level thirteen should be out on July sixteenth. This is your thing. Also, if any actually. If anybody, if anybody wants any links to the stuff we're looking at, just let me know and I'll post it in the chat. <coughs> or Sakura can do the same. Or whoever, whoever my mods are that are around. Um, yeah, free D&D campaign. Good stuff. Oh my god. You ready to go down the rabbit hole? <laughs> Come on, I love Waffle House. I tr tried to go to Waffle House in the United States, and I got scared and backed out, and I I got drive through somewhere else. <laughs> you know, I I want to say that Waffle House is trash, but only Denny's has given me like diarrhea in thirty minutes, so I guess I can't really get mad at Waffle House every time too. Like fuck Denny's, but these guys, these guys is interesting because we had we had a place in the town I grew up called the Omelet Shop. There was like three of them in all of Virginia. So now you can isolate where I grew up, but. And we go in there, we smoke cigarettes, and we drink coffee, and then we eat these you know, shitty burgers and omelets and whatever, and it was amazing. We stay there till four in the morning, whatever, but that's what Waffle House is. You know, we weren't sitting in there getting drunk or getting high. Those people go to Waffle House. One time, me and the omelet shop crew went over to the Waffle House, <laughs> and we were so disgusted by their coffee. It was like somebody took a whole king-size Hershey's and melted it into the bottom of the pot. It was a oh. gross coffee. Like, it was That, that super sounds pretty... Pretty disgusting. Yeah, it was it was pretty rough. I don't I don't know what that was about, but it was like the weirdest thing. Like, yeah, it was the weirdest thing. <laughs> um, so one of the creators of the fighting game Tekken has been working on the franchise from Tekken Three up to Tekken Eight, which is I think the newest one. Uh, he the internet is being like, please make a fight map outside of a Waffle House, and he's like, what the fuck, mate? Why is this a thing? Somebody please explain this to me coherently. Uh, you know what? I want the fight map inside the Waffle House because, as they say in the article, that's where drunk people and high people end up fighting at, like, 4 in the morning. Yeah, just call it Pancake Shack or 24-7 Pancake House. Just, pancake just, house. Just, just use the same yellow font. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So call, call, call it Pancake House, you're done. Look, I'll, I'll be serious. This not happening, like, say, let's say Waffle House is like, oh, fuck no, that would be a dumb move on their part. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. This is free publicity. Do, do you know how many people are going to crave waffles after playing this video yeah, game? Exactly. If you put, yeah, if you put this, this in the background, like, come on. Make this make this a, a total transmedia thing. Just do it. So why why Waffle House? Uh, because Waffle House is where drunk and high people go to fight with each other. Literally, and I didn't know about this till today because we don't have them out here. This is a southeast thing. It's like Virginia down to Florida, right? Um, <clears throat> Georgia and all of them. But they uh, people go here to like beat the living shit out of each other. Um, I've seen, I, I have since I read about this, learned about uh, 
just how much blood they clean up in there every night. I, I was just thinking of the Golden Corral uh, in Florida always making the news. <laughs> yeah, well, that's for food poisoning. Uh, no, the buffet brawl. Oh, the buffet. Oh, my God. Is that like, that has to be like Willy Wonka level food fight, right? So somebody ran, or, somebody hook. took a plate of bacon and everyone else is just like. <sighs> oh, my God. Um, so I got to show you guys this because this girl, she is she's being referred to as the Pancake House Avenger or the Waffle House Avenger. And she is about as badass as as they can get. I'm just going to let this play a couple times just so you can watch this amazing move she does when somebody throws a chair at her fucking face. House trending on Twitter this morning. Ooh, this is why. Look at this. <gasps> Here's the thing. You say you say how she blocked that chair. You if you oh, have no. ever just God. grabs that chair out of the air and flips it to the you side. Don't mess with the employees, and I'm not talking about because one, it's polite, <gasps> but because you won't win. Right. She's like, oh, no, you didn't. Like, uh -huh. Oh my God. For some reason, though, people are always trying to fight at Waffle House, always messing really? with the employees. Yeah. Uh, one employee in Austin, Texas, so she does not play. Just like, mm, look at her. dude. She's flinching. She knocked that chair back down. Now what? Oh, yeah. Bring it I on. Think not even hand shit. Tore a piece yeah. of the chair away. Yeah. No, I just, I just couldn't believe how smooth that was. That's my favorite part of all of this. But yeah, I mean, you can, you can go down the rabbit hole on this. It gets better on every repeat, right? Um, I actually, somewhere, I stumbled on, uh, no, no, maybe this is the whole video. Oh, this guy looks familiar. Oh God, here's a whole nother view. This is the person that threw the chair at her. Whole, that was not even the first chair. That shit was not even the first chair. Who chairs? Come on, come on. Get me back to the hump here. Here we go. Yeah, that wasn't even the first chair that got thrown at her. It literally looks like she's saying, throw the chair at me. Come at me. Oh, man. That one almost took out that guy's head, too. Yeah, you got bravery, you got fight, flight, posture. That's a fighter. Is this the full the full video? Okay. Oh my god, there's like three chairs. No. That is crazy. That guy got clocked. That guy got clocked maybe by two. I of think them. the first one's actually a high chair. Is it? <laughs> oh yeah, it might be. That is ridiculous. Anyways. I I don't I don't approve of going to to Waffle House and fighting or just fighting in general. Like be be humans, solve your problems with words like real people. Um, but if you're gonna make a meme map in Tekken, I'm okay with this because that's funny. Yep. That's the satire we deserve. The video games are the place where it's okay to fight. Yeah. <clears throat> oh man. They, yeah, this place has like a crate at the bottom of this article is really interesting. Prior to this event, the real name meme for Waffle House aficionados was part of was not just open 24 seven, but contingency plans to be open in almost any weather condition. Um, and we really do get those often hurricane hit Southeast powers out. They have a menu for that. The water's not running. They have a menu for that. The government disaster response team calls it the Waffle House index. Indeed, you can tell how messed up a place is by just how open the Waffle House is. If it's completely closed, it's literally the apocalypse. <clears throat> yeah, it's true. That's true. Like, okay. water is up to the knees. You can't drive to it. <laughs> In a shocking turn of events, apparently the KOTOR remake is still on. Cool. I'm cautiously optimistic. Didn't this thing got like panned a couple times, and it's just been a it's been a flash in the pan more than once since it was announced in 2021. There really hasn't it, been anything new other than um, it's clear and obvious that we're working on this. It's been in the press numerous times. What I will say is that the game is alive and well, um, and we're dedicating to making sure it exceeds consumers' expectations. 
that's uh, a lot of hype for a game that nobody's seen a screenshot of. Hmm. Was there a screenshot? I feel like this article had something about a screenshot. Yeah, there was reports that it was delayed indefinitely. Still being worked on. What was this under the Embracer thing? Yeah, Saber. This was part of the Embracer thing. That's why they're being like, hey, they didn't cancel that. Um, yeah, okay, it wasn't any screenshots. All right, just cancel. That's cool. Great. I mean, that's like a remake of I, a LucasArts. I hope, they, I hope they knock it out of the park. Yeah, I mean, that's a remake of a LucasArts game, right? If they can do a remake of that, then maybe Jedi Knight, but it's pretty turbulent. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought this was an April Fool's joke. On April first, Night Dive um, announced their their next uh, remake remaster, and it is pissed off. Po. Yeah, it's, it seems to be a first person shooter about being a chef, I, but the, the gameplay video is very. Just watch it. Yeah. We'll just watch it. The pup being a chef. Yeah, you know, this thing seems like, you know, Wind Blows 95 and Pissed, the sequel to Mist. Like, it just seems... I remember this game in Walmart. I remember being like, oh, ho, ho, that says Pissed Off. And my dad's like, don't say that. That's what I remember about this game. I know it existed. <laughs> Paper of Blood. So yeah, like, this clearly does not look like a great game. It, it looks like one I would love to play. It, it looks fun. It just doesn't look coherent in any way. Yeah. It feels, you know what, it looks kind of, wow, a jetpack? Cool. Also, why is Bill Gates in a soup pot? Yeah. It kind of, parts of this kind of remind me of, uh, Checks class. Oh, uh, this reminds me of that fake Windows OS CD. Wind blows? Exactly. Yeah. I I don't know why. I think just because they have the title, they're just like, fuck it, we'll do it. I thought this was a joke. And I was fine with it being a joke. Uh, but now I'm like, shit, I have to buy it and play it. <laughs> it might be fun, honestly. I'm sure it will be. It looks like it's got a ton of things to shoot. Like, Major Serious Sam. Major Chex West vibes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is coming. That's coming. Neat. It's gonna be on consoles, too. You remember back to the other article where it's like, you know, if you're not making a major sequel or like a cash cow Fortnite, good luck. And these guys are just putting out. <laughs> They're just doing what they want. That. Thank God. And They're not some the of heroes us are going to buy it anyways. The heroes we deserve. <clears throat> hey, it's not Duke Nukem Forever. I don't hate that game. I don't hate that game. I just don't love it. That's true, too. I accidentally closed my PDF. Okay, let's try it. <clears throat> did I try out uh, the DNF leak? No, yes, yes I did. I played that, I played that off stream. Maybe I played it on stream, I can't remember. But yeah, I played it. I think I watched a little bit of either Crunchy Snacker or Dan Van Dam play it, I can't remember. Um. Okay, all right. So this is. I don't know. The... Was was the leak good? Yeah, it was fine. I mean, it's not a whole game. Here is. Isn't this the same image from the previous one? The same Fortnite image. Are you sure it's not a a screen cap from The Incredibles? Oh, maybe. I'm I'm kidding. Maybe... It, it, Fortnite oh, okay, no, looks fine. very Disney. Uh, image epic. So it's it's for. Um. Okay, so here's something that we all knew deep down, but somebody actually did a small study on. Um, people don't perceive 
FPS the same way as each other. It's just a fact. People have yeah. ocular refresh rate. They call it specifically. Um, temporal resolution. Temporal resolution. Um, there's a couple. There's a couple of interesting things in this article, including some like darkest timeline speculation at the end, which is pretty cool. Uh, but they did a test where they flashed a light. And they flashed it slowly and faster and faster and faster. And basically, the, the people doing the test raised their hands when they thought the light was solid. Um, and some people went further, man. Some people, 35 flashes a second is all they can see. Like any Xbox 360 game developer ever. But... <laughs> I actually uh, worked uh, for the psychology department at University of Guelph briefly, where they did some of the testing for the reflexes for... Uh, they brought in fighter pilots and like did that timing testing with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. they did find that some people had faster, essentially reflexes because of it. Yeah. So uh, some people could see it. At, uh, some people could still see it above 60 flashes a second. I mean, that's I, I would love to take this test. I would travel to take this test because I want to know. You know, low FPS has always bothered me. It makes me feel a little nauseous. So, like, you know, anything like 60 to 144, that's buttery smooth to me, and I love it. You know, 9, 75, 90, 85, right in there, it's beautiful. Um, so, I I, I, I want to know. I want to know. Yeah, what I, I actually stop noticing above uh, 100 uh, is what you I notice found. when it's bad, though. I notice when it's low, but yeah, uh, like my, no, friend, there is my like, friends had the 144 screens and they're like, oh God, this is good. I'm like, I, I can definitely okay. see the difference between 90 and 144. Hmm. Yeah, I think up around 90, I start to lose the ability to yeah. notice. Yeah, there's because my, my phone has a, um... oh no, wait, my phone doesn't play. I can definitely see it on this monitor. Because a lot of times I have to stream at like 60, 60 hertz, so it doesn't screen tear on the stream capture. Uh, but like, you know, moving windows around between 60 and 144, like it's a huge difference. They stop jumping. I see them jumping. <clears throat> hey, Harley, welcome in. And mom. So the, uh, I would love to take this test. They said that they did it with 80 people, so this is not a huge number. This is just 80 people. It's a small test. I would like to see more research on this. I would actually travel to get this test done for myself because I don't think there's a way to really do it at home. Maybe. I don't know. But <clears throat> uh, I liked... Uh, it's it's inter uh, It would be interesting to know what your own score was, right? There's a world in which knowing it would mean you didn't have to bother buying high refresh rate monitors if you knew it wouldn't make a difference to you. Um, as pointed out by my podcast colleague, Nate, there is also a world where people who want to play professional uh, esports have to provide their like temporal resolution certificate. Anyone under 40 FPS need not apply. Oh, that, that, that's kind of darkest timeline. That's, that is. Yeah, this whole thing was very dark timeline. Yeah, it's cold. Because <laughs> that's that's genetic. There ain't nothing you can do about that. Yeah, I'm sorry. You have a, a disability that prevents you from being able to play video games with us. This is the other thing, too, is there are people out there like this that cannot hear surround sound, and they'll be the loudest ones in all the internet forums telling you that your surround sound headphones and your surround sound speakers are a fucking stupid waste of money, and you're stupid. But there are actually people that cannot hear behind them. Yeah, some people's brains just process sound and vision differently. They're also the same people that'll tell you that multitasking is real, and it's not. That's not a real thing. Turns out, uh, you you task switch. It's not possible for a human to multitask. Yeah, you can really rapidly task switch if you have yeah. ADD. Yeah, <clears throat> it's just not good. <laughs> but, yeah, there's also people that can't see images inside their mind. They have no mind's eye. That's true. I I did meet someone who had no internal monologue. She had an external monologue though to make up for it. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, and, you know, and, like, let's not, we, we can totally get into synesthesia, too. I, I feel like I might be a little synesthetic. Taste colors, feel colors. Um, uh, word, words pain. have certain... <laughs> Just everything's mixed up, right? Words need to be in certain flows or orders or they don't sound right. I don't know. 
3D movies lose their effect on you in about 30 minutes, you relax. Probably because you relaxed on the Um, uh, Because, I don't know, you notice when you start to relax, you kind of lose focus a little bit, and I'll bet that plays a big part in the 3D movies. Oh yeah, we are in perfect Biomex. Not created the same. <clears throat> Which is why it always amuses me when, when people get so loud in forums about the thing that they can't perceive. <laughs> yeah, is the color that my brain sees as blue the same as yours sees as blue? Possibly or are not. you seeing something different but consistent? Don't tell him his shirt is purple, by the way. <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> he knows it's purple. Everyone knows his shirt is purple. <clears throat> okay. Um, this this was kind of a cute little article, basically saying that uh, Elder Scrolls Six and Elder Scrolls Online are equal partners when it comes to creating lore. Um, it's kind of interesting because ESO is is so far in the past from all the mainline Elder Scrolls games that they have basically a free ticket to do whatever they want as long as they submitted up the chain um, to Elder Scrolls Six um, and I assume Five at a certain point. No, no, it's just six. They started after five. Yeah. The headline says that, but the article then says there's been no official collaboration between the two. <laughs> well, what the article says is that there is no, like, signed document paper trail that they just email and call each other all the time and, and share ideas, whether it's, like, what games they're playing in the break room or whatever it is. But they, they, says, they say they talk all the time, which is cool. Yeah, that... It is a really that is long a good way to do that. that. Yeah. Uh, okay, what's next? I was trying to like find the next article and read chat here. Speaking of darkest timeline, the de richenilioification of Unity. Uh, ex CEO John R. Because I don't want to say that again was held in Unity for almost a decade. They bought a whole bunch of things and they destroyed a whole bunch of things. Came from EEO. Sorry, CEO from EA comes to another company, buys up a bunch of stuff and kills it. That's familiar. Um, yeah, I forgot he was from that. But yeah, they're talking about focusing on Unity. Tries to ham-fistedly uh, monetize the Unity engine in a way that totally ruins the rep of the development community. Drives everyone away. And then out the door he goes. You know, at this point, I think these game studios and publishers just need to be like, we're doing what everybody else is doing because it must be done and we'd all be happier. But like reading things like, this decision is part of an ongoing company reset at Unity where you're focused on our core the Unity runs editor and runtime Unity Cloud and monetization solutions. Um, by focusing on these few areas, we can be sure to best serve our community's needs. Just say you're scared about the future like everybody else. Apparently there's a cat in the room. I just like saw on my camera there's a tail just chilling here. Okay. I was like, what is behind just me? a tiny bit of cat. Okay. All right. This is an important one. Uh, stopkillinggames.com. This is an amazing video. I'm going to link everybody to this video, and I want you to open up a browser tab and just watch this. Not not now. You know, Hang out with us. But please watch this. Uh, and please figure out how you can support this cause, because this is just so incredibly important. Um, nobody else. Accursed Farms. That's who it is. Ross of Accursed Farms. Nobody else is tackling this issue, so this man, this amazing man, um, who I've seen in passing on YouTube, is taking it upon himself to contact governments and agencies to try to stop games, live service games from being destroyed. You know, stop them from being made, whatever it is, but the crew is a lump of coal in our Steam libraries now. We can never play it again because Ubisoft decided to kill it. But because Ubisoft is headquartered in France, yeah. and France has great consumer protection laws, this is the chance. This is this this here, and this is I'm gonna I'm gonna mirror. Um, I bring purple. <laughs> That's blue. A 
Amazing. Purple. Amazing. Thanks, Mini Toasty. <laughs> so, this, this is a problem. And we all know it's a problem. Dead games are a huge problem. Um, on an informal count, there is like 8 to 13% of all the games ever made are actually playable right now or for sale. Like, Well, the, the accessible fuck? from the publisher. Like, you can't yeah. buy it. Yeah. So. And like, you know, uh, so many online games are dead. I was looking at a game I never heard of called Alien Online. It's just gone. Aliens Online from 98 to 2000. Real short life. Looked amazing. Like... There's, there's been a lot of changes in gaming where in the early days you'd get a game, you'd get a game with a dedicated server and you could just keep playing it forever. Mm -hmm. uh, you could still set up a Quake dedicated server right now, have 32 people connect online and play it. It doesn't cost anything for the vendor to do that. It's software doesn't pay for that. And, now and they build them so you have to run it on the cloud. And the most jaded thing I'm going to say all night, that's not true, there will probably be more, is that the only reason they're killing the crew too is because the new game that they want you to buy has a better monetization plan. Yeah, and that's just cynical from them for them to do it that cynical way. Cynical of me, but like, you know it's true, and it's sad, and we all accept it. So, here's the deal. There's things that you can do in multiple countries. I highly recommend watching this video to figure out what you can do from your country. Um, <laughs> honestly, yeah, he goes this is a, each this is a losing case in the U.S., which is why they're going after EU, Australia, France, and so in Canada. Um, we in America, if we have purchased the crew, we can contact the people in France. I forget exactly who it was. You'll have to watch the video. Um, in the U.S., probably the best job you can do is talk to somebody in the EU and get them to do it for you. <laughs> like, literally. Um, but this is it. This is the moment. The goal here is to get a fucking ruling on it. Whether it's good or bad, it is then set in stone. Um, and as he says at the end of this video, this is already the worst case scenario. We can't actually make it worse by getting a ruling. They're already yeah, like, doing the worst thing, which is destroying yeah. something. So you buy, you buy a product, you buy, uh, You buy, you, you buy, buy a, a car. rug, you buy a rug, and you bring it home, and then some guy who worked at the store at some point, maybe he's not even employed at the store anymore, comes into your house, sets that shit on fire, sweeps the dust into a dustpan, and leaves your home with it. That shit's illegal. Everywhere. There's nowhere in the world that's not fucking illegal. And yet, I can't play the crew. Yeah, like... We need you a, paid we money need a on for this. what you thought was a product. So, yeah, they essentially... Not only that, we paid for a product with an indeterminate self-destruct time. That needs to be clearly labeled. It should be clearly... If there's going to be a... Because if they are forced to put a label of when it will go offline and you will never be able to play your single-player content again, people will not buy it, and it will change. Oh. It has to. This Ubisoft is, the... is also sorry. One more thing. Yeah. Ubisoft is also out there saying we need to get used to not owning our games. Sorry. I I can't get used to not owning my games. I can't even do Microsoft's Games Pass subscription thing because I'm not willing to get into a game and then have it go yank from my library when it passes yeah. at a Game Pass. And like, but I want to play that next year when I have nostalgia for it, and then I'm gonna have to pay you sixty bucks. No thanks. I want to buy it once and just own it forever. I, you know, it, it's slowly, I'm slowly starting to realize why I'm so, I love older games. Like, they'll just always be there. And frankly, they're just not loaded with a bunch of live service bullshit. Um, but so. <clears throat> this game's never going to stop working. I, it, trust me, if Nintendo could, they come take it from you and force you to rebuy it on the Switch. I, they, they will let me rebuy it on the Switch if I want. And on every other platform, ten fucking, excuse yeah. me, times. But yeah, the this, original one I bought still works. Um, this this is this is a big deal. Highly recommend. Let me uh, let me grab this thing here. So what they did here, and this is great. I'm gonna share this link. You watch this video. It is a very compassionate video, and if it doesn't get you 
ready to fix the problem or do your best, great. Hey, puzzles. Go here. You go here. You enter your country. You figure out what you can do. They made a, He made a website uh, with, with all the steps for anywhere in the world um, to be able to take action against this. There are short windows in some countries. There's like a two-week window in Australia. Uh, it's, it's more explained in, in the video, but yeah, these are the agencies to contact. Here's the priority of like who, where they think they actually have a chance of getting something changed. Some of these places only need 50 people um, to sign up to have the government mandatorily have to look at it. Uh, but yeah, big deal. Did I share that link? Good. Bookmark that. Do your part. This is important. Indeed. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be on this. I, you know, the man's the hero. So he literally was like, he's like, I'm an idiot. I should not have to do this at all. But like, I shouldn't be the person doing this. But nobody. Else, nobody else is. Nobody else is stepping up. So he's like, I'll just do it. This is my cause now, um, and good for him. You know, that's the kind of hero we need is the people that do it because nobody else will. UK locked their polls after 20 entries. Yeah. No, there's... There are big names. There are big organizations on the internet. They're coming out of the woodwork to stop this. Uh, which is... Truly wild. Um, there's, there's actually a decent amount of hate towards it. Um, in some camps. <laughs> I want to own my game. I want to pay for my games and I want to own them. That's, that's the end of the story. Or I want like a company to tell me straight to my face that that's never going to happen, and we don't have to think about what ifs anymore. We can just be mad. Yeah, just tell me uh, that I'm paying a yearly fee or that the mm. game will disappear. I'm gonna let you then... all. Sorry. I'm gonna let you all take a breath. We're all gonna take a breath, take a deep breath, and then we're gonna read this clickbait headline. Microsoft reveals subscription pricing for Windows 10 users and beyond, and it's not cheap. $61 per device and will double every year to remain secure on Windows 10. 61, 122, 240, whatever. That's three years. But let me, let, let me, let me, let me go ahead and reel you back in now that, um, now that everybody's got their blood pressure up. They updated it to say, uh, this is, this is for commercial use. This is commercial yeah, use Yeah, that, that's the support <laughs> yeah. license you pay for dragging your butt and not upgrading to the new OS 10 years from now. Also imagine that, like, you just have a front desk in a hotel lobby with 10 computers. Like, how much money that is just the first year. Yeah, you're going to upgrade to yeah, Windows 11. Now, they are going to up, they are going to put individual prices for individual users that will be announced later this year still not great i'm rocking a few computers that don't have tpms i can't not upgrade to windows 11. the gaming pc i just upgraded from that's now my media server no tpm on that it's 2014 board it's still got plenty of life in it yeah i'm i'm sure there will be ways to you know, not pay for support for your Windows. I mean, just not not getting updates. Sure, fine. True, true though, that it is running um, Ubuntu on it right now. But... <laughs> <clears throat> this is... Yeah. Windows 11 is still kind of wonky. I'll be honest. My stream yeah, I... PC has, like, a virtual, like, a, a BIOS firmware... Uh, TPM that I can enable, but like the last thing I want to do right now is like have my stream environment taken over by Windows 11 and have it all break. That's last, last resort stuff. We'll do that when it actually costs money. All right, what's this next new easy article that we can just like zen out to after all that rage? Oh, there was a canceled Batman game from uh, Monolith. Based in the Nolan universe. That would have been neat. So yeah, somebody that worked on it um, put up a whole bunch of put up a, a whole bunch of uh, stuff. Well, this, well, these were released this this week, so. 
There's the there's the tumbler. There's um Oh shit, who was it? Not Tom Hardy. Yeah, yeah, it looks like Batman. It, not not only does it, it looks like Batman, but look at the interface. This interface looks like Deus Ex Human Revolution. Like yeah. even the music. Yeah, it does. Yeah, this whole interface looks like Deus Ex. Yeah, Christian Bale, thank you. Thank you, Tommy. Frankly, this game looks pretty cool. Rachel! Yeah, so this is, this is like the Chicago version of Gotham. Because most of this movie was filmed in Chicago, if I remember correctly. Interesting. Gotham, I thought, Gotham is always multiple cities. I always thought Gotham was New York. It's it's multiple cities. Different Gothams have been based on different cities. Uh, yeah, I guess you could get the uh, artist's liberty there. Oh, you want to talk about rogue gallery puzzles? You want to talk about the rogue? Oh, man. They're cool. The Flash did, a, did an okay job with rogues. But that was like a... a um, like the B-side nemesis of Batman were the rogues. Gotham is New Chicago, just outside of Baltimore. That's right. That's right, right. Huh. Yeah, this is cool. Um, it would have been cool if there was a playable demo. You know? I kind of want to play a little bit of it. But yeah, it looks like Deus Ex. Got all the, the yellow and fractal design and stuff. Doesn't look like a bad video game, just... Didn't yeah. get released. Yeah, just didn't. Apparently yeah. that became Shadow of Mordor? Yes, it did. They they did their Gotham City imposters, and then they put everything into Shadow of Mordor. Which is wild. What a switch. Like, there's nothing even remotely similar. It so it's just the base code, I guess, you know? Doesn't look like the same game at all. Many. Many of their ideas. Remember, this is still Warner Brothers. Many of the ideas from this game and the systems and the combat were reused in Arkham. Because this was coming out before Arkham. From Rocksteady. Well, that makes sense. If only Lith Tech could make another No One Was Free. That's all I want from them. I don't really care about anything else they've made. I, I do. I care about all of Monolith's games. But I really want more No One Lives Forever. Well, as long as anybody but Valve <laughs> acquires them, they can make No One Lives Forever 3. Damn, dude. That's a low blow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is this? What is this? I missed this article. I don't think I read this. A new open source GPU, Fury GPU, runs Quake at 60 FPS, supports modern Windows software. That's is, cool. Is this like Fury, like Rage? GeForce? What How do you this? make an open source GPU? That's a, that's a PCI Express, PCIe, right? Oh, it's an FPGA you can program to be a GPU. A fully custom GPU built from the ground up for modern... Yeah, I missed this. Y'all wanted to see this, right? Oh, shit. Hang on. Let me... Let me blow up ads here for a little bit. Okay. Uh, Y'all want some quake sounds. I oh, mean, yeah. Jibs. The sound... The sound is the, awful. The grindy grenade bounces. Yeah, the sound is awful. I don't know what's going on. Oh, and it crashed? Oh, they made a special version of Quake. Okay. Yeah, I think they had Why? to compile it to run on their graphics card. Why? Why, YouTube? Why? Just stop. Nobody cares about Married with Children. <clears throat> um... Okay, ultra scale. Uses zone API. Okay, fine. Can we buy it? There's nothing here. Nothing here on the website. It runs games. <laughs> 400 megahertz GPU. Full 32 floating point front end. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I think it's just some dude's passion project, and there's one of them. Here's what we need. Here's what we need. We need a... Nobody's going to make this. This is as niche as it gets. I mean, maybe they will. They should. But we need an FPGA GPU for retro machines that runs off of AGP. Hmm. An AGP card that can be any graphics card we want it to be. It could be a 3D FX. It could be an FX card. It could be Matrox. That would be really cool, actually. Yeah. Pretty challenging, yeah. though. Really challenging. This is me off in Dreamland. Because I would buy a bunch of those things. And we could just flip some diff switches on it or whatever. And it could, it could you know, run a game better. Yeah, that would be a pretty fascinating project. You probably need a, a community of people to work around that. Oh, yeah. Somebody to develop cores to run on the FPGA, someone to design a board that would run an FPGA off an AGP slot. Yeah. But it's definitely, like, feasible. I imagine it'd be a big card. It'd be a chunky card. Essentially, you're duct taping a mister into a PCI Express slot. <laughs> but instead of running a, a Sega core, it runs a... a Riva core pretends to be a Riva 128. Yeah. Or or a Voodoo 2 or whatever you want. It's a really fascinating idea. Power VR line GPs maybe? Tile based rasters? Yeah, this is this is cool. Just something that supports glide at all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, an affordable. Well, it probably would be affordable, but it wouldn't be an old, you know. Don't know if it works from eBay card, right? There was some some emulator that was really good, but it was only available on Glide at some point. I can't remember what it was, but hmm. it made me really want to get a card that could do that. I think it might have been Bleem or something like that. Shit, did we cover all the news? I think we got all the news. I think it was more than that. All right, we're going to take a break here real quick, go into the restroom and all that stuff, get more drinks, and then we're going to dive into... Interesting Steam releases. Yeah, uh, can't wait. This past week. All right, I'm hitting the break button. I will see you all in three to five. Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh. Uh, I had turned off my audio. Oh. Hello? Bye bye, Rye. Okay. We'll be back. <clears throat> All right, whatever you say. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit! <laughs> What'd you do? I he, he, uh, uh, I, now I am the one who is getting destroyed. Wow, I can't believe it turned like that. Wow, Windows, thanks for doxing me to death. Good God. I swear, you never know. I need to get, like, a separate login completely for my computer that has nothing to do with my real name. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these are, um, these are incorrect for the plane that I am flying. That's funny. Uh, I think this is from the experimental version, though, of this aircraft. Or not experimental, but, like, development version. We pause to stretch our hands and see if we can do it again. Sometimes that's all you need, you know? Refocus. Find a way to grab a drink. Didn't like it. Let's, let's just go back with it. Look at that. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, shit! 
<laughs> okay, there we go. Armed. Run. Run. Come on. Come on. Get, get, get out, you sh pancake. Oh, guys, don't look at explosions, huh? I can't be bargained with. I can't be reasoned with. I don't feel pity or remorse or fear. And I absolutely will not stop ever until Skynet rules this world. She's dead already. Oh my god, she's already fucking dead. What is this? What is this game? Why is this game so bad? Oh man. Oh yeah. Candy. Nick. Come on. Come out of the way. Fuck! You fucking piece of shit game. I need a fan. No, it's like, it's like. I can't see. I can't see. Oh my God. Look at that. You do the talking. You're you you protect both of us as a 12-year-old to the scary guy. What is wrong with this group? There's such a problem. This is becoming a habit. Why can't you just walk down like everyone else? What am I missing? You have no idea what's gonna happen at any moment. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> I just left off my mic for no particular reason. Would never have expected that from him. Huh. Alright, that definitely showed up on camera, surely. And there's no way the mic missed that. Cool. That was weird. A I had to click with the a mouse. Function that Pewter came up with. It uses an algorithm to clarify the rules of a Somnium world or the sync subject psyche. In other words, it tells you how the dream works? Correct. Damn, we can do that now? Pewter's legit. The sync system has evolved greatly. The key can help with unlocking mental locks and better understanding the subject. By searching more, the key will be updated and information accumulated. What it is. When you sit in the bathroom, I'm going to get jumped, I thought. Uh, or I'm going to get jumped, aren't I? I thought, no, it's much worse than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, uh, that is isn't. Oh, Jesus Christ. God damn. Oh, God, that's so unfair. <laughs> you were waiting. You were waiting. You knew. You knew what was coming. God damn. Good Lord. Jesus Christ! <laughs>
Okay, and we're back. Let me get some more water here. <clears throat> Alright, welcome back everybody, including us. We're back. This is the part of the show where we, we look are. at games. Good or bad. But not terrible. We're not looking at terrible games anymore because kind of we, we have we have moderators now that are kindly uh filtering the games for us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, looking at the occasional bad game is pretty funny every now and then. But seven hours of that it's not good. It can be soul crushing. Yeah. Yeah. I you know, Something that's a big pet peeve of me is people that want to do something but won't put any effort into it and, like, do the bare minimum. And, like, to the point where it's like, are you scamming me or are you just not care about this thing you're creating? You know? Like, yeah, you you uploaded a game to Steam, but there's no content inside it. The dog inverted your controls? Why would you let the... Whatever. Uh, good luck fixing that. Let's go. <laughs> the asset flip tag. <clears throat> I didn't even know you could invert the Steam Deck controls. You can't. That's you that's why it's a problem. You, you should probably <laughs> reboot it. Yeah, but don't let them sit on electronics. That's just silly. Alright, moving on. changing levels fixing. Say you get broken screens and stuff. Alright, actually moving on. Not paying attention to my wife letting her Steam Deck get destroyed. Nightmare the Lunatic uh, is something. A roguelike, unforgiving platform, pixel, controller. Oh, looks like something I'd play. It's pretty looking. Alright, let's hit a trailer. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, that's way too much junk in the inventory. I don't even know how that Aerostorm works. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Dan Van Dam. Yeah, it looks good. It, it looks like a cute Dead Cells. It also looks very busy. Whoa. Chains. Jeez, okay. Wow. So you get like you get like a little bit of warning every time. Every time an attack's coming, that's kind of cool. That looks, uh, yeah, like a lot of fun. Huh. Neat, okay. Hello, Dan Van Dam. They want, uh... Uh, Steam Deck Verified. They want $17 for it. That's awesome. That uh, seems totally reasonable. I hope it comes in English. The trailer was not. Yeah. Interface yeah. and subtitles. Uh, like Dead Cells. <laughs> Yeah, like this. this is one of the only times I, I ever get I, that right. I don't see how it's like Vampire Survivors, but hey. That's the bullet hell of it all. Developer playing it right now. That's cool. Uh, hardcore action roguelike platformer, a game where you escape your nightmares, swap between three weapons, constantly use special attacks and dodge and parry. Enemy attacks, strengthen yourself by collecting powerful, distinctive totems. People seem to like it. Cool. Nightmare of the Lunatic. What's next? Uh, next. Maids Blazing. What? Uh, 
Nyx's Maid's Blazing is a very simple, small score attack arena slasher set in the Dark Castle. Choose a maid, master her abilities. Abilities? I uh, get. Yeah. And cut in half all the enemies. Cut slash repeat. Okay. Well, it's been checked. Let's watch the video. <clears throat> Hubba hub abilities. <laughs> oh, this. This is. Uh... Okay. Oh, it's a grappling hook. Gets one more point in my book. Yeah, hillbilly abilities. Hill hillbillies. Yeah. Edge lags. It was that antelopsy. Huh. I'm not really getting a good idea of the gameplay other than jetting around rooms of a grappling hook. It's somebody's first game and somebody's like, you should put waifus in the foreground. And he was like, bro, that's the sickest dope idea I've ever heard. <laughs> that... That actually sounds like something that would happen at a college near me. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> They'll pay four dollars for that. Minor bug fix. Okay, well. Say AI no four fam, I got disclosure. you. Oh, they're, they're, <laughs> not even, uh, they're not even they're not even real <laughs> anime waifus, they're AI waifus. Are they AI? Yeah, you, there's it's a AI content disclosure it's right there at the bottom. Huh. Well, isn't that ridiculously fucking interesting? That explains the eyes and, like, the butt mouths. Look at that. Yeah, that's, uh, that explains that, the weirdness. That explains... Yeah. Huh. Waifus. Nice. Alright, what's next? Did... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you're skipping some Sunday there. Uh, let's check out... Ember, Ember Wood Beta. Well, this is interesting. Two users have reviewed it. We have no idea. Action, side-scroller. You want to read these descriptions? Embark on a thrilling journey through the mystical realm of... Viridar plays the Agile Sentinel or the Mighty Dragon Knight, both equipped with their own unique skills and abilities. Gain allies and develop your combat prowess while traveling the war-torn path of the Warrior King. Wow, look at that fast arrow action. That's like, uh... uh... Epoch. <clears throat> There's like da -da 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 -da. Also have belly button flames. Belly button flamethrower. Yeah. Alright, so we got spiders and skeletons. This doesn't seem like the worst game ever. Characters look polished, look, yeah. Well, yeah, but only the characters look polished. Everything else looks very primitive. Ember Wood. Okay. Is there another trailer here? Anything else we can watch? Not really, huh? Alright, well. The only thing they're showing in these screenshots were actually taken from the gameplay trailer. Uh, whoa! I mean, it does show a lot of gameplay. How about $20 for early access of that game? No. Yeah. Just, no. Yeah. It, it's not polished enough. It... Alright, I want to see these two reviews. It's funny how it was like, two reviews, here's four. I mean... <coughs> ten, maybe fifteen? I would not pay more than ten for that. I mean, this is this is like one hour of gameplay for me. This is a one hour stream game. Probably nothing more. It, it doesn't uh, really look enticing to me. No, 
There was like a moment where I was like, ah, you're a cut above the rest. Clearly they think so too, with a $20 price point. All right, what's next? We're into Sunday, March 31st, Nightmare the, wait. Good night. Did you skip a luminal place? Yeah. Or was that the, yeah. uh, the roguelike platformer? Time travel, it's back to Saturday. <laughs> Ooh, unreal. All right. 15 seconds to get to gameplay. Nope. That, that's I lied. a lot of logo. It's still black. 20 seconds. Oh, 21 seconds to get to a gameplay screen. Be warned and be safe. Oh, hang on. Caution. This tape contained confidential content. Be warned and be safe. I have a feeling that they made me turn up the volume to do something really loud and horrifying. Hello, dear viewer. This is your first day working at Async. Please, respect and follow every rule for a perfect experience. I am a robot First now. First rule, stay calm, don't be nervous if you see someone in the darkness. Second rule. Yeah, something's gonna come out here and grab it's us, Tonda. very important to hey, respect Bass. everybody. Third rule, avoid making contact with strangers while you are in the backrooms experiment. Backrooms experiments, oh, I see. Is this an SCP game? I guess. Man, they love giving us, like, 20-second black screens. Level 37. What? They, they forgot to make a game. Yeah. You know what? You're right, Dan. That is very realistic looking, isn't it? I don't, I don't know. Until you see outside. Yeah, yeah. I was. They, they made a very shiny room. Well, but they. All right, let's look at like. Why are we watching a second video, you ask? Because we haven't seen anything. Ugh. Okay, we're turning that down. But what's the point of these games? Jessica Wu tried to explain it to me. It's like the outside of the carry or the carry the Truman Show. Is there like a narrator, like the Stanley Parable or something, to make it interesting? No. Okay. He lurks. Okay, 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 we're getting to something here. You guys can't see it's covered up, but the words at the bottom says he lurks. Probably referring to the damn player, huh? Okay, well... Made made by a 12-year-old kid. It's free. Oh, it's remastered. Uh, there is a review by Annoying Crow. Let me... Okay, yeah, double, I'm gonna read that. <clears throat> double check his content here. Okay. It's all you. The head bobby is atrocious! Ha <laughs> ha! Now, was going to mean and say you can do this kind of exploring in real life. Ha <laughs> ha! But this game has, like, floating skyscrapers in it. Ha ha! We went from exploring the back of malls to random sand islands that are Kingdom Hearts game. Ka ka! Pretty impressive for being made by a teenager. Ka ka! You called it. I was too busy. Tentacle porn at the age of 19. Ka ka! Hell, Angel Blade Punish just came around that time. Ka ka! Don't dodge! Ka ka! <laughs> That's a lot of cause. Yeah. <clears throat> all right well it's free you can't get mad about free i guess unless you hate free things then by all means get mad for free it's not caca -ka. 
Cause and effects. Damn. That's good. That's good. Ooh, I like that one. Dream Gen, build your dreams in a polyrhythm designer. Dream Gen is about crafting, relaxing, and or chaotic melodies, uh, which can be played for out for hours on end. Okay. That sounds kind of cool. Color me fucking curious. And purple. Color me purple. Like um, Toasty Shirt. Oh, Apple, I got a game I put in here for you that you are going to love towards the end. You got to stay awake now. <clears throat> Four main motion types. I guess you define the particles and they move in and out of the circle for this one. Hey, loyal. Probably not gonna. Well, this is cool. Probably not gonna play anything. It is news show, not game show. This is cool. It's like a pendulum. This reminds me of the game Solar. Hey, I played Solar. Solar was cool. You gotta, everybody's like losing it in chat over this one. I, I think it would just be fun to chill out playing this sometime. Yeah. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. I see it now. I see it now. Fuck, okay, what's the interface like here? Is there more videos? There's another video. We can look at the we can look at the interface. Dude. April 1st, yeah, it's out, right? I don't know what's going on, but it's absolutely mesmerizing. I love it. <clears throat> but can I input, like, Catesio's voice with the Doom sounds instead of uh, music? It said it takes wave inputs. Fuck yes. Thanks, Sakura. This would be a fun way to make music for a stream on yeah. a stream. Agree. <clears throat> it's a gadget. Yeah, you're right, Jalax. You're right. This is software. When your tools hey, are tenderly. so pretty and fun, they're kind of like a game. Where do the drums come from? Is that what he's added to it? Is that included in? It said you can set any background, so I'm assuming there's a, a drum beat background you can set. Maybe you have to use your own wave file for drums. It, it looks like the thing in the bottom right is a drum generator or something. That's a fascinating 
piece of software. Yeah. I mean, he uses a GPU, so... Alright, that's five minutes we can't have back. Let's go see what they want price-wise for this. Wow. Two ninety nine. Uh, okay. That's a good deal. I'll just go ahead and put that in the cart. Huh. That's incredibly cheap. And it's early access. Let's see what it is. I think I, I think I got two ninety nine out of watching the video. <laughs> I did drugs, played this for hours. Oh yeah, good. What? Well, simple simply isn't what I'm looking for. Something to make more detailed music out of. Not an ongoing pattern repeating on end. Very fun to mess around with. Relaxing, hypnotic even. Okay. That's kind of cool. You guys got a link there earlier. Welcome in, Tenderly. Hi, Tenderly. Tower of Fire, Sword of Unspoken, Miscellaneous. Rough Around the Edges Action Adventure Game, let's say. That? Oh, this music, what? Was not expecting. Metal riffs. Good, that god, that's a lot of words. Did he just deep throw a fire sword? Oh, what just happened? Wow. Uh huh. You got the sword of fu. <clears throat> Funny, tough, and metal AF. Yeah. I have a strange feeling it's from an Australian developer. You think? I don't know why. Does it have the uh, Mad Dog Williams vibes? It's probably all the snow. From Australia? Because, why, why? They don't have snow in Australia? What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, Dale Blackwood. Completely cooked games, Dale Blackwood. No idea. This looks... I don't know, he looks kind of Viking-ish in that image. Yeah? It's, it looks like it could be fun. Yeah. It's five bucks. It's... Mm -hmm. Oh, it's bold here, but you can fight chickens in it, apparently. Y you don't want to fight chickens in Zelda-related games. Yeah, five dollars. Uh, Tower of Fire, sort of. Ins uh, man, the, the description here is half taken up by this long ass title. Is a two-hour story-heavy adventure game with strong power metal aesthetics. Fight chicken, sign me up. There you go. Two hours worth of content for five dollars. It's pretty okay. Well, no, it's perfect. The Steam uh, refund policy is. You just got to speed run it in under two hours. <laughs> here is. And I quote, The Cursor Game from Dayok Games, um, creators of Pink Balloon. I'm skeptical. <clears throat> oh, that is the cursor. Wait. Oh, you don't hit the wall with your cursor? I see. Yeah, it's Operation for the Mouse. Yes. Thirty levels, twelve skins, one challenge. Okay. Okay. It's, it, it's a zero button game. It is a zero button game. It's a mini game. They would like five dollars for that. It's got a demo though. They would like zero dollars for the demo. I can't afford to buy the demo. Sky Journal, cozy mornings. 
Okay. Paper airplane game. Find all hidden objects. Oh, okay. In a gorgeous post-apocalyptic world. Yeah, they can't really make a good trailer of this. They'll show us all the objects. <clears throat> you gotta find... I see lots of things. Click on... There you go. Oh, that coffee can was hiding behind the tree because it's shy. It's like we're uh, picking up garbage in the wilderness. Huh. Okay. That did not do yeah. it for me. Oh, it did not do it for me. S some people like hidden object games, but... Look, 59 cents. You can't get mad about it, but... That's like a 30-second game. Next. Ah, you just take your glasses off. Takes two hours. Football breakthrough gaming arcade. Why? Look, look. New oh, show it says it. It says Atari style though. What did I say about sports ball? <laughs> All right, let's have a look here. Breakthrough gaming arcade. Okay. But it did it. Did it. Okay. All right. Okay. This is cute. Maybe if his legs didn't look like swastikas, I'd be happy with it. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of... Uh... Did you notice that too? Yeah, it's there. Yeah, yeah, look at these legs. As he runs, yeah, yeah it, it's making little swastikas. That's... Yeah, I mean, I understand why it's like that, but I can't unsee it. It's not quite Tim Cobol, yeah. It looks like it'd be fun for about 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah, a free mobile game at best. Silent Protagonist, is this tagged into Silent Protagonist? Please. Please. There's a technically there is a protagonist and they are silent. <laughs> yeah, but you need to make more of a game before you do that claim. All right, ninety nine cents, not bad. Moving on. I'll drink for that one. I'll drink for that one. Uh, Eden, a Genesis. Is this one of the ones I added? Not quite. An elegy. Eden, a Genesis through time, is a classic sci-fi horror adventure game inspired by late eighties computer games. Um, explore abandoned space spacecraft to uncover uh, the hidden horrors throughout the ship. Late eighties? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Okay. Oh, female person of color protagonist. Cool. Okay. It looks very cyberpunk. The sound, the soundscape is hell. This is flashback? A little bit, yeah. Operation Firestarter, Kinnikos says. Eden, Genesis through time. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's kind of... Volume a little, and might be fun. It's kind of... It's kind of hard to get excited about time travel when you don't see anything other than the same thing over and over again, like the ship that is obviously like still floating through space isn't going to age like a planet, right? Or a city or civilization. Mm. But I do see that there must be like a shadow self in here. <laughs> Similar to Starfield and Jedi Survivor. Yeah. Yeah. We just need to start ignoring that. Uh, they want four dollars for that. That actually seems really cool. Maybe wish list. Yeah, reasonable for four bucks. Wish list. Here, I, I like the art style. Yeah, I do too. The music, the soundscape, is a little rough. Like I'll be the first to say, I don't love chip tunes. They hurt my ears. But and, uh, and this wasn't chip tunes. This is like proto PC speaker noise. Yeah, it was. It was definitely very P PC speaker. Yeah. All right, who's next? 
Alright, these are ones I added. Elegy of Fate Prologue. Um, okay. It had lots of bright colors I had to add. It, you know? it, it is very colorful. Here, watercolors. <clears throat> oh, is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like... It's not quite an action RPG, but it's akin. Wow, that's pretty funny. Cool music. I'm here for the music. I'm unclear what levels actually look like. It seems like you're on an island until you get an arenas. Yeah, I saw them fishing off a little island, but... Yeah. Is it an arena game? in the action bar, so I think it's an action game. That yeah, seems cool. It seems very flat, though. Yeah, <clears throat> there's not a lot of depth to that. How much they want for that? Oh, it's free. It's completely free. Good. Melidia. Mm -hmm. Done anything else? No? Oh, it's a prologue to a full game. I see. Uh, I want to take a look at this map. Look at this ridiculous map here. It's kind of wild. Okay, well, there you go. What's next? What do they want for the full game? It's not listed yet. <laughs> ah. Brutalistic VR. Had to include a VR game. We didn't have any game. Well, good God! The hell happened to these arms? Which was a full game, cool. It's uh, supposed to be reminiscent of those flash games where the stickmen would kill each other. Oh! Then it's brilliant. May 15th this year, Basil says, for the previous game's launch date. That's cool. That's, uh... Oh, wow, you can actually, like, put bullet holes in things. Gory teenage fun. Yeah, it is. For all your edgelordy needs. Uh, ten bucks. Free demo. Early access. Coming whenever. Postal 2D maker, what? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, it does have that postal vibe. All right, we're on to April 1st. This is where all games were serious all day. Oh, well, this one's mostly negative. We'll watch the trailer anyways. In and then the we'll Tower Delta. Of sages, the highest of the high and deepest of the deep. There lived a child who spoke to no one. The lesser sages were afraid of her brilliance, so they hid her deep in the library. The child read to herself, talked to herself, and wandered through the endless silence of the night sky. She even found the one and only star for Deosh. Deosh! As she grew stronger, so did her loneliness. That's when I decided uh, to be her two only fan service friend. shots. <laughs> oh, it was quite a pleasant time. The little one couldn't resist my words. And ventured into the forbidden and brought back 
an ancient tome stained by darkness. And then bring me an abundance of souls. Yeah, much nice hat, less pants than she needs. Truth be told, I harbor doubts about you. Whispers among the stars. Tell my destiny. I am Xanthia, the Black Sun. That's her voice? Hmm. Yeah. I'd rather grind my teeth on a chalkboard. Uh. Oh, cool. It's coming to the Windows App Store. Yay. <laughs> Mostly All negative. Right. We, yeah, we, we can definitely get it on there. It. It's free. Uh, I guess you can get your money's worth. Well, it's got a lot of negative reviews, so maybe not. Uh, but just about enough to make it a Steam game. To seal, to seal your info. Look at the terms of service. Uh, terms of use. And they can sell and acquire data from your email. Store info. Super shady. From your email? Um... You have to accept it. To play the game. The game is awful. Interesting idea. Laggy mobile for it. <clears throat> it looks like poorly skin poorly reskinned castle crashers. Maybe, yeah. How do they access I don't know. I don't I was trying to see if anybody else mentioned that. It's just this guy. Just this guy. 520 people found this review helpful. <clears throat> well, that's very interesting. All right, what's next? Which one was that? Was that Astra? Wasn't it called something else at the end of the video? Am I going crazy here? Yeah, Black Sun Xanthia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, but the game's in a different... Okay, okay. I saw this and was like... Oh, I don't remember clicking on that. Anyways. Ario, a PS2 era platform. Oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, Fantasy Land plagued by nightmares. A common lad <laughs> tries to rescue his missing mother, uh, and an evil force, an evil force's conspiration to be and, unveiled, and, and an evil force's conspiration to be unveiled. Join Ario um, in this thrilling adventure where your crossbow and your skills will determine the fate of your people. Never mind your mother, your people. It, it could have good gameplay. In a land plagued by nightmares and curses. And Comic Sans. It feels like Prince Persian. Actually, this seems like a solid game. Yeah, it does look like one of the uh, PlayStation Prince, Prince of Persia games. This feels doesn't feel like PS2. This feels like Xbox 360. PS3. Definitely newer than PS2. <clears throat> okay, cool. I like that. It's just a little newer than GameCube. April 1st. Okay. $13 they want, so wish list a go go. Cool. Yeah. The only two reviews here received it for free. So, moving on. Hey, I know that name. Content warning or? Oh no, that was uh, Dan Van Dam's review on there. Oh, what on the game we just looked at? Yep. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. <clears throat> Under Aria? I totally missed that. Oh, yeah. 
needs work. Wow! Wow! 3,062 3, products in his account. Dang! You're like, uh, you're like a thousand uh, more than me. That's a good score there. What am I at these days? What do I get to the old Cameroni? Yeah, 250, 2,539. <clears throat> All right, a dark realm. Bull Hill Roguelike. This seems like it plays like um, Necronomicon. Tastes like Game Maker Studio. <laughs> it's Rotato. There's a giant inventory system again. Oh, I'm tired. Tons of power ups and things. The Dark Realm. I hired my little sister to do the art. <clears throat> oh, you done? Okay. How much do I want for that? Eight dollars? Chronicon? Interesting. Yeah, it seems okay. Not for me. Yeah. It might be fun. Art, music. Okay. The game contains both art and music. Gotta buy it now. All right, content warning. Oh boy! Take this camera. This is Citrus's first game, by the way, guys. Uh, say hi in the comments to Citrus Bird. We need to go in Hello. into that ship, um, film cool stuff for our viewers, and then upload the video and make views, which make us money to make more views and more money. So let's go. Hoorah! All right, we've landed, we've touched down. So now we're gonna try finding something scary to get on to get on film for you guys. All right, so we've just been suggested. Can you touch it? Yeah. I can't rush that. Oh, you're joking. Keep running, keep running. Don't look back, don't look back. Okay, okay. We gotta move, we gotta move. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Influencer nonsense. Oh <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking interesting. It's, uh,. Like Phasmophobia or Lethal Company, but with a weird twist. Yeah, but it looks like you get to sit around and watch like found footage of your of your gaming session. That's guess, yeah. that's pretty cool. Is this VR at all? Hmm. They gave it for free on Did they? Damn, I didn't snag that one. This is pretty cool. I think Mini Toasty snagged that. Yeah. Here you go. Got a, a call for you. Cool. Free game that isn't free. Gaka. I feel like I'm torrenting a Steam game via Steam. Does that make sense, Gaka? Some YouTuber switch. Streamer nonsense. Go play Nano Breaker on PS2 instead. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, device. Oe oe oe. I mean, o one o one. This one actually look might it might be kind of cool. <clears throat> it got a high school drama vibe. RPG maker. It doesn't seem like it's turn-based. Seems like they put a lot of work into that one sprite. The girl? Yeah. I see it comes with headcrabs. 
Hey, Deathlock. Yeah, I'm gearing up to probably use RPG Maker for something. Ooh, puzzles. Got a map system that looks cool. Yeah. It's entirely in Korean. <laughs> you can make some art for me? Maybe. It's probably not going to be for like two or three years, but... Some weird anime style monsters. Oh. And not head crabs. Oh god, it's gonna be like that. <clears throat> Worth learning Korean for? I, I think it's actually a pretty cool looking game. Yeah, like, I agree. They, they put a lot of effort into the sprite animations and that. Not like the other game where the characters were just like, we we put three frames in here. Uh, $10 they want for that, but there's a demo. But there's a demo. That's pretty cool. Has this developer done anything else? Sand Sandari games? No, nothing. Oh, it clearly comes with an English translation. They just made the video in the Korean version. Apparently, yeah. Yeah, yeah, English and English subtitles. Cool. All right, who's next? Kitchen crisis. Cute isometric room like tower defense. <laughs> OK. All right. Uh, we're paying attention. What do you got? This looks like, you know, Infinifactory or whatever. What the shit is that? Pokemon invade your kitchen? Please tell me you slaughter them for the food. Oh, this is... Monsters coming for... Oh, it's tower defense because it's a restaurant. And they've got to feed everything. Or it will eat you. Huh! Oh, That's... Jesus Christ. That's really neat. Actually, yeah. It reminds me of Ministry. Yeah, this is cool. It's not not the game for me, but I'm posting it in chat. That's pretty cool. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah, here you go. Kitchen Crisis. Maybe I'll wishlist it. Patroller support. It is expensive, though. $15. That Honestly, that one feels kind of like $15. That seems like a ton of replayability. You know? Cool. Or 20 loonies. From glory to goo. This one's very colorful. RTS, I think, maybe? Or no, no. This looks like Infinite Factory. Both pixel art. Oh, mini toast dude, totally be into this. It seems pretty cool. The factory was pro, right? <sighs> it looks like a very aggressive Sim City. Yeah. Like the hammer of Thor, right? Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright. Disaster. I'm gonna wish list that. Yeah? How much they want for that? Less than ten dollars right now. That's cool. Yeah, I'll add to the wish list. Neat. 
Build an army. Explore and expand. I don't know. I think we went on like a hike this morning, my wife and I. We did like, I don't know, damn near four miles <sighs> at a really brisk pace. And I am fading so hard right now. Like my, yeah. my tired body is catching up with me. <sighs> Gotta get the calories in you to fuel yourself up. Well, I, no, no, I'm eating calories. <laughs> it's a diet, calories. I had, I had two jalapeno sausage biscuits before this. Oh, well, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, I had calories, like a thousand calories there. It is so, it is so early, like, um, that we were, I mean, we were, we got up at like 5.50 to get out the door. Like, this was a very early morning. Um, okay. All right. So we're on to of life and land. Life and land, yeah. It's another pretty game. It says base builder. All right. <gasps> I also swear I saw the term Metroidvania, but I might be hallucinating. Yeah. yeah, I I know I know. I think I'm tired because I ate those two sandwiches. <laughs> and also because I'm fucking tired. <clears throat> Why is everything green? What's going on here? Oh, it's like color maps like we were looking at in that one game today. Why? Why did that deer lay down on a wolf? Um... I think it died? Oh. Both life and land. An all-state company. It looks kind of like you're like, you get this little water thing in the middle of a desert and you have to spread out and prettify the whole thing. Like, that seems kind of neat. Yeah. All right, we got ads. I'm about to click that on. I think I'll put cold water on my face. <laughs> I, I'm going right. to go make myself one of those breakfast sandwiches in the uh, air fryer. There you go. All right. We'll be right back. Hopefully the automated thing will work this time. Okay, so that opens. I. Okay, so that's Baliog. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to Gigi. Spiller, hello, how's it going? Oh my goodness. <laughs> now. Do -do. Oh, really? Walk out into the desert. Stay there for a while. Let it penetrate you. That's oh, it's gonna get them all. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's getting kisses too. Pets and kisses. Oh, oh yes. No, you're gonna get all the love whether you want it or not. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Oh, kitten. That's as many. That's as many. That's as many as I think we're allowed to get right now. And she's like, oh, maybe. A uh, bottle in front of you in the water with the note. Okay. Are they just, are they standing on each other's heads? There are two. Fine. This is the worst orgy I've ever seen. Jumps. 
How many robot orgies have you seen? Actually, don't answer that. All right, fine, I won't answer that. The focus. You'll be like, I'm not gonna stay focused because if I stay focused, I'm gonna get jump scared. And then 20 minutes later it passes, you're like, and then a jump scare happens, you're like, Eat, I'll look out, look up and look outside. I'm gonna scroll into this more so, you know, try to <laughs> look at the pappies or anything. The pappies are probably all white right now too, so, or excuse me, all red. But let's add some more power. Try to. Gently get back on glide. At this point, it's probably gonna be, it, we're probably gonna go around, but we'll see what happens. If I, if I can salvage this a little bit, okay. These could be the creature's antibodies. my way blue blob oh excellent your bones are scraped clean by the desolate wind your vault will now surely die Thought maybe we could uh, see the tripwires in our stealth vision, but it seems like that's not the case. It's our Mojo Dojo Casa. Casa? Did I say Casa? God, the caucasity. Um. <laughs> Maybe it's easier to just fight one of them up here. No, and then they they corner you. Oh, never mind. Okay, if you get them like that, then they, it's not so bad. Fat booty. You saw it first. Fat booty indeed. <laughs> no, there's a racket back here as well. Did you want a pie to go? What you oh, shit, your pie hole. Are they going to come? It's from in that fridge or whatever they were in. <laughs> After you blew it up the first time. <laughs> Oh, fuck this red shirt. <laughs> yeah, you... No, he's... It's not gonna go off until it... Hmm. Yeah, it's on the bridge, and it's gonna kill everybody on the bridge. You killed them all. You probably blew up the whole damn bridge. Oh, I forgot to point it out. I forgot to point it out there, but, uh... When the red shirt was discussing us for the bomb... Uh, that wasn't the guy on the floor. That was the red shirt we got killed. Bolts, <laughs> We're finally here. We're finally actually playing a game. Uh, and everyone's got diseases. You, you think Beverly Hills caught by a mile, huh? Now, which mile? Mile when we're trying to drive in that game or mile? <laughs> oh, I love it. I like it. I like an action platform where everything goes dark. It all goes very dark. Okay, let's put up a poll. Let's put up a poll because we needs to know. We needs to know. Jank game, which is the worst? Which is the blurst of times in, in the stream so far? What's our worst, our blurst of the time so far? Worst. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no way we should have survived that.
There is no way we should have survived that. What days will I stream? Pick display on stream. Oh, it's fine. You guys can see my kids. If anyone wants to fly to Canada and try to abduct them, I will kill you. But anyone coming by with friendly motives, beers, dinner, welcome. Colors don't mean anything. Uh, confirmed. Ah, finally. Okay. No. What? What was that? Why? <laughs> what was that? That was that was unfair. What? Synthesizer. It's like a synthesizer. What about that mold Voyager over there? A synthesizer. 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 Or synthesizer. Hmm. Synthesizer. 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 Okay. Right. Yeah, synthesizer. Right. Synthesizer. I follow you. I follow. Synthesizer. Oh, there was a Moog Prodigy. No, not a Moog Prodigy. A Moog Source. I'm synthesizer. Synthesizer. Radiation and chemical fumes from these synthesizers. But how do you feel about synthesizers? Uh, I fucking hate them. I wish they would burn alive and people would use only guitars. Tropical breeze. Synthesizers, how you feel about synthesizers? They're uh, a part of the 70s and 80s. All right, next game, Mini Shoot Adventure. Welcome back, everybody. I sat down. I feel less tired now that I sat down, which probably means I'll fall asleep in a second. No! <clears throat> Okay. I like this. Fuck yeah. This is my kind of game right here. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this tonight. Old school Jay would probably like this one too. Yeah, I saw this on Reddit as uh, Zelda if you were a spaceship. Hell yeah! No, this looks awesome! It's also way easier to see than some of some of those, you know, shoot 'em ups get kind of crazy. All yeah, right. this one doesn't seem overwhelming. I'm just gonna buy that. Fifteen dollars? Mm. It looked really good. It looked really good, yeah. All right, it's in the cart. I'll post a link in the chat. Now, it looked really good. It looked like it was well balanced, you know, um, especially visually, which is important to me. <clears throat> little cat. Yeah, uh, a little bit of desk cat here. What kind of what kind of breakfast sandwich you got there? That is uh, a Costco breakfast sandwich that I took apart and microwaved the egg and air fried the rest. Cool. Because. It's actually good that way. I went and had four slices of roast beef for 70 calories. Because apparently I'm still hungry after eating a thousand calories of breakfast sandwiches. For those, okay, so so here's a fun adventure for anybody that has one. So when, when there's a human being, there's a coffee place here and you know, like Starbucks and everywhere, they have their own 
um, breakfast sandwiches, and they have this spicy jalapeno slash egg and cheese. And it's not just like, it's pepper jack cheese, and it's not jalapeno in the sausage, no. It's jalapeno in the biscuit. And it is so fucking good. And so we, you know, we always get them whenever we have a quad land. Seek will come and buy a whole bunch of them. He'll eat, he'll eat like three in one meal, like, because they don't have them down there. So we find out today when my wife went and got breakfast that they're not going to be selling. They're gone. Best breakfast sandwich in the whole fucking world. Just gone forever. Because they want to do something that's locally sourced or whatever. <clears throat> and I was like, it'll be better. It'll be fresher. And I'll be like, yeah, we're going to judge the shit out of you. Hopefully it's burns down, right? So it turns out when they meant locally sourced, this was a brand that we can buy. Grand Prairie's the brand. And they would just take it out of that wrapper, put it in the convection oven, and then wrap it up in their wrapper and, you know, sell it to you with your coffee. Turns out we can just buy a, a case of 24 of them for like 63 bucks. You know, a whole case for 19 Yeah. So, look, we're going to get a, a, a freezer just for these. <laughs> for the quad land. Also because they're the best sandwich out there. And they're only 500 calories. I mean, that's a bit. That's a bit. But, like, these are quality, quality breakfast sandwiches. Jalax has had them. He can tell you. You got to fuel the gamer, right? Yeah. It's a good Grand Prairie. Maybe Apple can post a link to the crate. If you like if you like spicy food, these are above average spicy. This is not murder, but it's above average spicy for, you know, a fast food type of thing. Um, and they are just... They're so good, man. Thaw them. Follow the thawed instructions. Don't nuke them from frozen because, well, don't be a heathen. You get, you get like burned hard spots on the bread. It ain't good. Yeah, or or the cheese turns into something that doesn't recognize isn't recognizable as cheese anymore. It's just kind of like plastic lava. <sighs> um. The uh. Yeah, I did call today. I did call him like very nervously. It was like, you're getting rid of the sandwiches. They're like, well, how many, do you, how many do you have in the store right now? Okay. My wife's going to be by later. Tell her she's buying all of them. <laughs> At this point, it just, the phone call was so fucking awkward. <clears throat> the baristas were like, your husband called earlier. Yeah. <laughs> It's an awkward phone conversation. Because <clears throat> it's like, it's just panicky phone calls. Like, my sandwich is gone. Why? <laughs> so anyways, we're going to buy a bunch of them. Anyways, I had two for dinner. So fucking good. Oh, here, I'll go grab. I'll show you. I'll show you what they look like in their package. Maybe I want to find this for you. Detour. They're... They're just a damn good sandwich. I mean, what are you going to do? Look, I... So the way that they serve them there, I would have never... I, I would have... If you'd have told me that it didn't come, that it was like a premium sandwich they made in the place, which I know they obviously could. It's a little shack, right? But I would not have ever, like, expected to see it like this. Well, there it is. This is the... Um, Grand Prairie Sausage Egg and Cheese... Jalapeno cheddar biscuit. And that's it. It's sausage, egg, and cheese with a jalapeno cheddar biscuit. And if you look at it in here, you can see. Ugh, maybe. You can see bits of jalapeno in that bread. Yeah. Frozen Best Buy date, February 27th, 2025. Bruh. That's a good shelf life right there. That's an insane shelf life. What? You telling me that this thing can stay in this package frozen and still be good for two more years? Yes, we are buying a deep freeze. Yeah, they're going to buy a couple crates of these. Yeah, I would hoard them forever. Yeah, they, obviously that's like five years would probably be good. It's 2024. Oh, you'd still be able to no, eat it. You not. just probably wouldn't want to. No, it's not loyal. No, it's not. You smoke too much, man. It's 2023 still. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna be questioning everything. Ever. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, so I got this game in my cart. You just smoke a lot. He isn't. I know. I know. Yeah, he doesn't know what year it is. It's fine. Okay. Uh, what's our next game? I'm going to buy this probably tonight. Because. Because we're responsible with our money, which is why we go to the, the, the coffee shop and, like, I like to buy all of this, the sandwiches you have left. Your entire inventory. I think you're not hearing me. When I say all, I mean everything. Scoop it out of the freezer, put it in the bag, and hand it to me. <laughs> we make we make we make smart decisions with our money. Um, hey, you like what you like. Like this game, Dev. Ben Jung Worth. Discover some of the most charming frogs. What shit is happening here? <clears throat> it looks like an FPS with... Are those checks? I don't know, man. Oh! <laughs> this... actually looks kind of cool. Yeah, this is neat. Better than like, that the... high on life game. Frog person shooter. There you... Ooh, laser snakes, baby. <laughs> Night nice, Sakura. This honestly actually looks well made. Wow, wow, wow. Well, other than the voice acting. The monsters are like really creative and cute. It looks very smooth too. Yeah, I want to play that. Okay, it's a demo. I want twenty dollars for that. We'll add it to the wish list. That's pretty cool. Like Bioshock Infinite and Kana Bridge of Spirits. Not at all. Probably. The laser snake though. That was pretty good. Like all positive reviews here. That's cool. All right, good job. Neat. I'll uh, post the link in chat. Yeah, that one's uh, possibly a gem. Yeah, yeah, I dig that. Normally, like, I see voxels and I'm like, please fuck off with the voxels. But this one, I don't know. And they look like they, like, use the voxels well. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't feel like just another crappy voxel game. You know, this is like, this is like what happens when you take sprites and turn them into voxels in Doom, right? You get this kind of design. Hmm. All right, Pathless Woods. I read this Pantsless Woods. This co-op it said. Cool. Harvest the gifts of the wind. Ooh, water physics! Okay. Whoa, that was cool looking. I don't see any woods. Have you seen any woods in this? Yeah, there was a sh severe shortage of trees. Yeah, that was all prairie. I, I think it's treeless woods. Yeah. <laughs> it still looks kind of fun. Oh, well, here's some woods, I guess. No, actually, I kind of like that. I wouldn't mind playing that. I mean, what, $20? It, got a demo? It reminds me of uh, Portal Knights. Yeah. All right, wish list of this. That's cool. I'll post a link yeah. here for everybody. We haven't even gotten to the game, but I'm excited for my wife to see. She's gonna love it. Eventually, folks. Alright, here's Night Feed. Action RPG. Probably vampire co-op.
Ooh, ooh, cool music. It just looks like V Rising. I never did play that. Does V Rising have dinosaurs? Um, maybe. No, the V Rising can get fucked. Because <laughs> it's time for whatever this was called. <laughs> Cinderella with an S? Okay. This seems okay. It reminds me of Diablo somehow. Re more like... Um, oh God, like Diablo like 2. This reminds me more of like in uh, Adventures of Van Helsing or uh, 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 shit, not Grim Dawn. What was the other one? Van, uh, Victor Fran. Mm -hmm. This also seems like we just put all the assets we could find into a, a random ARPG. The developer recommends playing this with a controller. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't cool. look like it has a like coherent art style or universe or anything. No. No. New character werewolf. Uh, here's what a few Twitch streamers who played early versions of Nightbeat had to say. 10 out of 10! I'm a Twitch streamer! This wow, was those super are fun! Very articulate Twitch yeah. streamers. This was super fun. I had a stream. Am I making fun of Twitch streamers? Hell yeah, I am. Fun game. I streamed it once. I liked this it. Was, was I liked really it a lot fun. of stream. That's from Pooch, by the way. This is gonna get positive reviews from my stream. It's a beautiful stream. What a time to be a game. I had, I'm just totally making a list up at this point. I had a good stream. I am going to stream that shit off stream. <laughs> it's unlock all the characters. Okay, I'm actually having fun with this word replacement now. <coughs> streamer fun, streamer good, Melon Driss. <clears throat> Very streamed. I was having a good stream with it. This was stream. What stream? I had a blast with this stream. This stream is very, very fun. I'm really streaming it. Reverend Pickle had a blast. <laughs> it's very streamable. Uh, it's very streamable. Stream some! Can't wait to stream all the characters. <laughs> uh, I love this stream. I am having so much fun. This was a lot of stream. It's a lot of stream. I stream this stream. I'm having stream stream. Hey, Cadesio, we're making fun of other streamers because we're... I, I, I think the quality content here is just the, the streamer. Yeah. So, no, I, I'm like, yeah, this is funny. Um, cool. Ah, oh, man, everybody in here received it for free. All the reviews. Except for this guy who didn't get it for free. Tits over here? Here's tits. We're gonna go lurk on tit. Maybe we don't click on tit's profile. I'll be honest. Uh, but tit's here has 50 reviews, and they didn't like it after an hour because uh, they weren't giving it for free. I think. See, we could fix that. Give them the game for free. Yeah, I, I think that might get you a good review. Yeah. Hey, Deb. <clears throat> you just gotta give free things to tit's, and life is better. That was weirdly deep. Moving on. <clears throat> Concrete vision. <laughs> she says, "Look." Mess. I need to get the hell out. Well, you are viewing through transparent concrete, aren't you? JPEG artifacts. The game. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, this is a pretty edge lord. That is some like 1993 metal. Was that was that a Nine Inch Nails music video that just kind of went too long? Maybe. I mean, 
Or is there any other kind? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the filter is. That's interesting. Boom or shoot yeah, or shoot them up. Minimalist. What do they want for this? This is less than this uh, is less than two dollars. Broken Soviet block CRT filter. Really? I'm joking, but it looks like a really poor CRT filter. Brutalist film filter. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, there's like part of me that kind of wants to play it, but the other part of me is like, I don't want to play that filter, you know? But for $2, you can't really get mad at it either. <clears throat> Might be a fun one-hour stream game. We're moving on to April 3rd. Lana Tiles. Just the name sounds interesting. What do you want to bet? It's it's plants with tiles. I, Bang! So. Nailed it! Let's go! <laughs> Dwarf Romantic on a Spear? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Without leaving gaps. Oh, it's a puzzle game. More of a puzzle game. And a little bit of Tetris, maybe. I like the little the little astronaut thing. That's kind of cool. Did I say hi, Deb? Catasio and Deb. It's great to see both. Hey, Mnemonic. Simurthris. Oh, boy. Oh, that's adorable. It's really cute. Yeah. It's definitely got a good art style to it. Oh, no. Oh, Don't make they... all your trees out of metal, dumbass. Wow, they really got creative with this. <laughs> you notice that when the, the special effects happened, it really seemed to bog down? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Maybe the devs machine isn't very beefy. They usually aren't. It's shocking. It's sho Especially like when they go to do a video. Oh yeah, the one guy that he like... I'm sorry, I didn't know there were artifacts in the game because I made it on a $50 monitor from Staples. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly that. Uh, that's cool. It has controller support. And it is tagged as Steam Input API. This means... Fuck off, come back. Potentially Steam Deck supported? I don't know. No, no, I don't know what this means. This game makes full use of Steam Input API, which means it will work well with any of over 100 devices you connect. Oh. Okay. I've never seen that tag before. That one's new to me. Mythical Owl is actually a cool studio name. They have other games. Army's Odyssey. Translation. Hexalogic. No, Hexalogic sounds familiar. I think I looked at this one at one point. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, good on them. Neat game. Y'all want a link? Get you a link. Yep. Relevant. Like Dwarf Romantic, Steam says. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Dave's Fun Algebra Class Remastered. From Moldy Games. You. Content rated by Dave. I mean, this is what Algebra Class with ADD feels like. Bringing the worst games to ever exist. Okay. Man, that guy needs to learn how to center his goatee. <laughs> this does feel like the Windows 95 maze a little bit, yeah? It, it feels like a build engine game. Oh, yeah. And yeah, quite a bit like the 95 maze, but they put stuff in it. Why hasn't anybody ever made a game out of the 95 maze? Where's the algebra, though? Oh, no, they, they were doing math in one spot. Pulled out like a little uh, piece of paper and made you do a math question. 
You had to explain Clippy to your Gen Z admin person today? Is that a Zoomer? Is that what Zoomers are now? We're calling this Gen Z? If you hear the term Zoomer, I don't know what the fuck it is. Mostly I don't care. Uh, there is a crow review here. Uh, nothing will be more upset. More spooky than upset John Madden. Ka ka. Um. Yep. Next. No plan B. Let's go. Yeah. All right. You shouted, that's your boy Clippy, and we were both embarrassed. What? <clears throat> oh, this is cool. Okay. Tactical time scrubber. Yeah, you ever seen Frozen Synapse? That's what this is. Spoiler, Toasty is actually annoying Crow, maybe. <laughs> oh, you can build guns in this? Dude. That's pretty cool. Mod support? 90% something. What was that 90%? Positive reviews on oh, this game. Oh, okay. That's cool. You're going to say Shadow Tactics? Yeah. No, this is cool. $15. Wish list. I like Shadow Tactics. and I, Well, I haven't, I haven't finished Shadow Tactics. I really like Frozen uh, Synapse, but it's fucking hard. I'm going to gamble on this one showing up in, like, Humble Choice. Maybe. Maybe. I See, the thing about Humble Choice is that usually the games that end up there have some kind of like publisher deal and this one's self-published gfx 47 which is this one dude in france hmm. it'd be cool if it did what's like the lady of bots thing 2019. oh okay yeah it's a pay to win bot pvp all right, next game. Ataraxia, like Ataraxia, Freedom From Worry? Or is that something else? Grave Nori. Get ready. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. To face the uh, challenge. Kind of looks like a Genesis game. Move. Yeah, I'm a hard pass on this one. Uh, maybe it's fun to play mechanically? Oh, God. It ain't getting better. No. God, the art is so disconnected. Uh, I bet if we scroll down, we'll find another hey, one of those AI-generated content notes. Yeah, this just doesn't look fun. I'm not loving the art style. All right, what's next in my life? Oh, and the box is so, sort of supposed to evoke a Super Nintendo or a Sega box. A little bit, yeah. No reviews. All right. How much do they want? $5? Reasonable. Spider Fox, I added this one because Nightmare Fuel. 
It's like furries with eight legs or something. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, this is scientist bullshit. This is a no for Sakura. Impossible creatures. That's in. That's on one of my demo discs. I'll probably play it this month. Spooder cat. Spider fox is not a cat. Hey. I guess foxes are more cat-like than that. It, it, lo it looks kind of fun. They put the effort in to have different biomes and stuff. Yeah, the the level design is seems pretty reasonable, but but also no. But also no. They, they took advantage of verticality in the game and stuff. Like it's it's not total trash. It's just, yeah. I, just traversal seem kind of fun. Just, just put less spiders in your games, please. Now, what this game should be was anything you can imagine you can create like spore you want to merge assets together get spider fox you can if you want to get yeah yeah have yeah. the sports a winged a winged camel donkey great all right god rop go drop god rop we're going with god rop for this what are you God drop bullet of the universe. It is very anime so far. This um, trailer is not telling me much. Uh, it's uh, one of many ships. Next trailer. Is this the same fucking... They put the same trailer on here twice. They did. They put the same trailer on there twice. Okay. Skip. Right. Yeah. Five dollars. Right. Yeah. Anonymous hacker simulator. AI Rodum. We need to take a little trip into his mobile device to give him a wake up call. Elon Nude, what? What did, whoa, what was that? Discover his intended destination to unveil. Tom the Tat Dude. E Elan Masks nude photos leaked online. Mobile hack spark privacy debate. Uh, it reminds me of like Grey Hack with a different story and cheesed up a bit. White hacker shot. Oh God forbid white people get shot. Oh like white hat hacker? I don't know what that means. That was a weird headline. Discover his intended destination to unveil the truth behind what transpires. I mean, the real question here is, can you change the background of the desktop? We are legion. Nope. <clears throat> You're stuck with anonymous anime girl. AI generated anime girl. At that. Yeah, yeah, but it didn't say white hat, did it? It said white hacker. Well, See, it said white hat hacker at the no, bottom in the hashtags. Not here. It says white hacker. Yeah, that that's a weird headline. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see white hat anywhere here. It, it was in a different scene, but yeah, there it is. Hashtag yeah, I know. I know hacker. what white hat. I know what black hat is. I know what all there is. White hat hacker. Yeah, the the headline said white hacker gets shot. Yeah, the headline's just weird. Okay, 
How much do you want? This one's a, a trending game. People seem to be digging it. Is that is that coming from your end? Yeah, that is uh, somebody playing uh, Deep Rock Galactic. Oh, nice. Okay, Root Eight. Root Eight. And nobody wants to see Elan mask nude, Jalax. I think enough people have seen that already. Jesus. Oh god, look at the rear view. Jump scare the game? Wait, all this walk through. What the hell's going on here? Driving through rural Ontario oh. simulator? Yeah. Huh. It's kind of wild. Hey, horror? Maybe. Play okay. Mephisto Waltz. Play Mephisto Waltz is the name of the dev here. They want $3 for that. It's really reasonable. It's kind of deep. Void Crawler. Let's go. <clears throat> Descend into dankness. Decent lighting here. I got that Akasha tape. <sighs> what? Oh, it was our birthday birthday cake in there. Earth oh, right. Ooh. And there's things coming out of the walls. Did you see? Did you see the thing coming out here of this thing? Oh, oh. Yeah, it looked. It looked pretty tentacly. Yeah, that was pretty good. Right, yeah, that, that game's. That's a good Halloween game, I think. What five dollars for that? Nine reviews. All positive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my god, it's like eight o'clock. Sinister night. Multiplayer. Try to get those last few games then before I fall asleep. It's a <laughs> PvP game. That was a girl crying in the corner. Damn, oh. look at these haircuts, though. Oh. Oh, no. What? <laughs> well, that got dark fast. Yeah. Sinister Night. That's not how stitches work, one. Sinister Nights 2. Sinister Night 2. You know, like, that's, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna lie, that looks kinda cool. That's a, definitely a Japanese horror theme video game. The thing I, is, it's not PvE. English language not support. Well. PvP online co-op, but... English language not supported at all. Yeah, that, that's really neat, though. It looks cool. Like, it, the graphics look kind of neat in it. Unavailable in your preferred languages. Notice that? <clears throat> Alright, Thursday. Damn, we got a decent amount of games to go. Okay. Beat Slayer. Dungeon Crawler, Hack and Slash, Rhythm. Let's rock. Alright, we got a Walkman. That's your paint job, you bastard. Cool. Oh, so it's a little bit like uh, Soundfall. This looks cool. I 
hate Dietrich and his shitty robots. The music doesn't make me cringe. Stay on beat. Just stay on beat. That seems exactly like soundfly. But I won't give up. Let's practice. It's Hades set in the punk rock universe. Hey, Kizzy. Hey, Dana. Eat this, Metal Mouth. Yeah, the the Eat gameplay this. looks very much like Hades. Yeah, I mean this looks <clears throat> this looks really cool. It it more than Hades. It's not. It's less like Hades and more like Soundfall. Um, Hades. Hades is not a rhythm game. Um, yeah, it was just there's a lot of dashing in the combat. I saw that well, looks here, a on. lot. I want to like... see how much this is. Uh, Twenty bucks seems reasonable. Soundfall. If you haven't seen Soundfall, Soundfall is a good game. Actually, like back to this on Indiegogo, I think. Big. Whatever it was. <clears throat> Visually stunning game too, like it's really pretty. Yeah, that one is nice. I highly recommend it. It's solid. <clears throat> the music's pretty good too. Also, it's got that, like, Saturday morning cartoon feel to the cutscenes. Yeah, Soundfall's, Soundfall's sweet. Allegedly, I have, like, a vinyl soundtrack of of this game coming that I bought when I did the Kickstarter or whatever 12 years ago and it still hasn't showed up. I questioned them Ooh. on their Discord and I was like, hey, is this ever happening? And they're like, it's not not happening! And I'm like, that's not fucking cool. I want an answer. <laughs> but I haven't. I haven't pushed again. But it was like this game came out two years ago for the backers and everybody. It backed four years before that. Or two, two to four years before that. I still don't have that vinyl soundtrack. Yeah. And they moved on. Has to make a vinyl. Well, it's a long delay, but it's not six years. <clears throat> yeah, I need to poke them on the disc. It's actually been a year since the last time I asked, and I still ain't got that vinyl. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Anyways, um, Beat Slayer seems very similar to that, just different tone. Cool. I'll add it to the wish. Let's try the demo. I want like twenty dollars for it. I kind of want to know more about their music. The one thing that I like about Soundfall that I'm hating here is like I don't want the character to say things. You know. Like I want, I want a silent protagonist in my rhythm game. Yeah, because otherwise it kills replayability. <clears throat> well, not just that; it's just annoying to have them be like, "Oh no, okay, no, stay on beat." Like I don't, I don't need that in my music. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, we have um, Nickelback for that. Can't apologize for that enough. <laughs> hey, G Funk, welcome in. How long till something comes out? Don't know. Like Star Set. Yeah, we we're not Star Set. <laughs> it comes out every day. <clears throat> you wash your mouth out, Havoc. <laughs> we don't speak of them. Uh, yeah, this, this looks neat. You know what? You know what game visually this looks like? Dreamscaper? I think I backed that one too. 
you want to see a beautiful game that's a little bit like Hades, I think pre-Hades, this is 21. Uh, but Dreamscaper is, is just gorgeous. <clears throat> this is, uh, the only reason I don't play this so much is because it's such a, a roguelike. But you get these, like, tile pieces that connect the map, and you fight in them. And then you wake up and you walk around town, and you get, like, powers and stuff. It's a cool game. It's not rhythm, though. It's not a rhythm game. But you wake up, you go around town, and you have conversations with people, and you can get, like, skills that carry over. It's kind of it's kind of cool. It, regular everyday life, slice of life game, and then you're... Battling in your nightmares, yeah. Interesting. It's actually a really cool concept, to be fair. Yeah, I highly recommend that one, too. I need to put that on the Steam Deck and try to play it some more. Okay. <coughs> Savage Age. Ooh. Ooh, this one looks interesting. So this one's from a solo dev, apparently. It's about the only way to get me interested in the game at this point. <laughs> more than one person works on it. It's no. like, oh, how's the microtransactions going to be? <laughs> huh. You can dress up as a bush? I'm in. This bush huh. guys didn't last. It does look pretty, doesn't it? It looks clunky, though. I appreciate that you have to do, like, the crafting as part of the level progression. Right? Yeah, you just, you build the level itself, it looks like. Actually, this is pretty fucking neat. You get Lara Croft, yeah. Lara Croft Girl was so good. So good. Hey, Grizzleby. Lara Croft Go should not be skipped. I know a lot of people pass it over because they're like, oh, that was that mobile game. No, play it. Lara Croft Go is fantastic. Is an excellent puzzle solve. Okay, this actually looks fun. Actually, Lara Croft Go was like the only thing from that generation that got Lara Croft right because those reboots didn't. Oh wow, y'all really into this. You, uh, you 100% it, Kizzy? Nice. Knew I liked you. Did you play, did you play Hitman Go at all? I played a little bit of that. It was pretty good. It just didn't have Lara Croft charm. Okay, tell me this, Kizzy. Did you play Relic Runner? Not Relic Runner. Yeah, Lara Croft Relic Runner. My wife and I, like, we mainlined that game for a couple months before it got the map update. That one was sweet. You didn't know about it, now you're keen. Relic Runner was cool. It's still available. You can play it. It's like... Cannon Bolt, I think. I never played that, but I've been told. Yeah, Lorecroft Relic Runner was pretty sweet. Then it got really difficult when they added the big map. Same with Hitman. Yeah, Hitman was cool. This is Savage Ages neat. I want to play this. This is a one-hour yeah. stream game for sure. If you liked Black the Fall and Far Cry 5. <laughs> they should have said like, they should have said like Far Cry Primal. Yep, $12. Not yeah, hard. yeah. Far Cry Primal would have been a good choice. It's also a really fun game to watch. I keep hearing that. It's the one Far Cry game I never really wanted to play, but everybody keeps saying it's low-key the best one, so I might have to. I go to Far yeah, Cry I because I like shooting guns. 
<laughs> hey, you go, you go take the guns away. I bet you're just taking people apart with a spear and a bow and an arrow, and I mean, yeah. that's just not as satisfying. At what point in or gaming history did it become okay to have titles like Savage Age um, and not have it be violent or blood, right? It's just word salad, man. Oh, overwhelmingly positive. Buckshot Roulette. Yeah. A computer game by... Wow, a lot of people really like this. Okay, I'm hesitant on this one. I'll be honest. No, 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 we're out. We're done. Not doing it. Not doing it. Next. Uh, I knew my gut feeling. My gut feeling was not not good on that one. Uh, Runic Relay, The Trials. Let's see what we got here. This is interesting. Platforming in a first person shooter. Huh. It's interesting. Or, I don't know, it's uh I don't even think it's a shooter. I think it's just a parkour game. Well no, there was a thing where you shot um you very much shot uh uh targets there were targets all right i'm gonna go ahead and hit the ad break real quick and then we're gonna get the rest of these games done how about that all right all right we'll be back in three yeah that uh that isn't oh jesus christ god damn oh god that's so unfair <laughs> You were waiting. You were waiting. You knew. You knew what was coming. God damn. Good lord. Melee resistance. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was messed up. <laughs> I did not know that was gonna happen. Uh, where is the dude? Stop running away. Yeah, the dude with the sword. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> like over here, he's like <laughs> just beating his sword <laughs> like that, but then you got eh, 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 eh. eh. Eh, eh. <laughs> All right. Yes, this game, as adorable as it is, you've got to do Dark Souls level roll dodging um, while combating. And thank goodness, oh! And thank goodness I did play Elden Ring, and so I do generally have some good roll dodging. Except for, you know, right then, when I forgot that I was wounded. Is he gonna fly away? <laughs> You're the star. You went out and did it. Overcame and underbid it. You're the star. This was totally worth it. Draw a big circle in the sky, and the sun should appear. That should brighten things up and lift our spirits. Alrighty. Draw a circle. Oops. That's not a circle. <laughs> Sun dick! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to work. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> okay, I'm good. <laughs> Yo! Foached! Foked! Oh, chat. I love the doggo raid message. It's funny, Conkeys dropped in with the raid and went. They went up? Oh, it went up. Oh, interesting. There's too much chaos, I didn't quite notice. One skill point, so I can't do anything more with that one. Sir, I'd like to ask you something about your dick. Yes? It's about your dick. What happened to it? Well, it's been like this for quite some time now. Does your son know about it? Oh no, oh, I'm going to go in the wrong places. Yes, he does. He's always been worried about it. <laughs> oh no, this is, no, this is not right. No! Bad focus, bad focus. This is not right. I see. Hmm. What is it? <laughs> no. <clears throat> that, uh... That, uh, uh... Bogus Meat Factory clip got dark fast. <laughs> Alright, these next two. These next two. I need to get my wife to put her Steam Deck down for a second. Reverted controls or not. These next two she should be paying attention to. I'm definitely paying attention to this one. This is the Crime Scene Cleaner Prologue. It's a free prologue to a game um, that is called, um, guess what? Crime Scene Cleaner. Like this or cleanup detail, maybe. <clears throat> That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, this or cleanup detail is still one of the best gaming experiences out there. Oh yeah, that's gonna scratch an itch. This looks like a sequel. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's a, whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, no! You motherfuckers! What is that? What is that right there? That. Uh, that's a scrubby sponge. Like this one. Hmm. Not quite. The mouth ain't quite the same. That's Scrub Daddy. Is it? Is it? Okay. Because it looks like the Serious Sam logo. I, I have a, a Scrub Mommy that looks like that, but it's a pink lady face. It looks like the Serious Sam logo to me. Okay. Carrying on. That was not a great image of the Serious Sam logo that I pulled up, but yeah. <clears throat> hey, Nerdwire. Nerdwire. This looks awesome. Power Wash Simulator Plus. Yeah, this looks good. Okay, yeah. Ooh. And you get to steal stuff. Oh, this isn't like police crime scene. This is like mob crime scene cleanup. You can pet the dog. <laughs> Aww. All right, how much do they want? Oh, this is free. It's prologue, right? 
I'll just add it to the library there. Ta-da. Let's go add Crime Scene Cleaner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once you get tangled with the mob, you'll never be... You'll forever be part of the mob. There you go. Outsmart the police. Get ready for the next mission. Oh, so you gotta, like, escape the police, too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the worst. You gotta do it on timer before the cops show up. Yeah, is that what it is? Okay. All right. Here is, uh, here's, here's the next one. Dungeon Renovation Simulator. I know my wife's gonna be into this. I get to throw all the trash in a black hole. Is it multiplayer? <clears throat> uh, probably not. Stop, I can only get so aroused, she said. <laughs> this is more like a grime scene cleanup. This doesn't look particularly good, though. You know? Yeah, so far we're just cleaning. Well... Oh, interesting. Oh, there's some puzzle elements? Yeah, okay. And magical shrooms to get you high. Huh. Okay. No controller support on these. This is only five dollars. Early access. Only five dollars, yeah. It's single player. It's yeah, yeah. Yeah, grime scene, you like that? There's that. And that one looks like it's probably gonna be a bit of a disappointment. It does. Full release. Has a co-op mode in full release. Hmm. Roadmap. Early access. Yeah, they want co-op. I want to go back to, to Crime Scene Simulator. Does that have co-op? Because that'd be fun. Well, the demo probably doesn't have co-op, but maybe the full game does. I'm looking at the full game, yeah. Yeah, single player. Now, this are a cleanup detail. There's still rumors there. What they were gonna port this game to like the new Unreal Engine, or well, to Unreal Engine four. Uh, let's see, February 26th, VCD2 sneak peek in Unreal 5. This is what we got here. Okay, so uh, they're VC making a new game. Yeah, vcd is coming. Be sure to follow Steam Community Visitor Cleanup DL2 here. Uh... Yeah. Oh, oh, you know what? I haven't shown this to anybody, but I got one of those plushies. I got two of them, actually. From the Bob. It's from that company where you have to, like, they have to, like, meet a certain amount, and then they order it, and it failed, but these showed up, so. But yeah, I got the, uh, the VCD Bob. Um, with the... Me. The, the Velcro thing. Wrong scene, wrong scene. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, here you go. I was looking at my preview, but yeah, I got the, the VCD Bob. Um, yeah, Bob the Janitor plushie. Only 204 made, so there you go. You know how limited it is. But yeah, we got I got one of these for me and one of these for my wife. It's from Makeship. It's, uh, it's nice. Like, it's, you know, it's a nice quality if you're into plushies. I'm not really into plushies, I'll be honest, but... This was, this was too cool to pass up, you know? Yeah. Game theme plushies, man. Yeah, game theme plushies. You should see my uh, living room and kids' rooms. Oh, 
All right. I think we're on to Friday. One of the last ones here. Sorry I'm crashing on everybody. Oops, not that yet. Not that yet, not that yet. Okay, we got the last couple games and then we got the community roundup. <clears throat> All right. Ready for bot? All right, we got some 2.5D action. Why? Oh. That was strange. Okay. All right. We're good. Uh, bio, bio more. Good looking cartooning. Ooh, weird. <clears throat> Well, they did say it was a dark platformer. Yeah. We got some color. <laughs> we yeah, have Hollow Knight at home. This looks smooth. It looks so smooth. All right, Lucid Dream Studios there. It's pretty solid. That one yeah. is probably going to show up in a bundle. It's, uh, I don't know. It's got a very limited palette to it for most of it. That's yeah, true. Positive 97%. Mm -hmm. years. Yeah, it seems cool. But yeah. it does look like it's a smooth, fun action yeah. side scroller. Yeah. Alright. The thing that happened. This is not out yet. Well, it's not out yet. We're skipping it. Next! Uh, this came out today. Kill Mage. Okay. Fight the hordes. So it's an arena game, some kind. This trailer is really annoying. <laughs> like, all right, can, it, can we see? Showed us nothing. No, that's it. Oh, here's the same thing, but in a different color. Oh, okay. Yeah, this... Are you fighting skull-headed sperm, though? Uh, yeah, it appears to be a, uh... IUD simulator. Yeah. Yeah, nothing about this looks fun. Maybe if you need high contrast. Maybe, maybe if it had music or anything. Oh yeah, it's just like one grindy sound from the gun. Yeah. All right, we're done. Next. What do they want? Serious Sam D make D make. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, but Serious Sam is art. I'll never bad talk Serious Sam. I love Serious Sam. Uh, yeah. Well, you can sharp your name on a urinal and put it on its side, and it's art. <laughs> they don't have urinals in Croatia. I have no idea if they do or not. Sugar tanks, let's go. <clears throat> All right. Hey, this one's got music. This looks fun. Yeah, it does. Oh, it's candy.
victory will be sweet. I like this. A silly little tank collectathon. Whoops, try again. Epics are games. That's cool. I like that. Please have a free demo or something. Eight dollars. All right. Wish list you go to. That was cute. All right. One last game. Withering Room. That could be fun. <laughs> this one I added. It looked fascinating. Oh god. What a weird game this is. That's a lot to take in. Wait, was that old Greg on the boat? <sighs> the walls are dripping with blood. <laughs> I'm whimsical. There's something about that I kind of liked. That's, if, that's, if yeah. I'm, if I'm being honest, something about that was kind of cool. It kind of has its own style. It is not $25 kind of cool. No. 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 $5? Mm. Yes. Ah. Uh, style is pretentious. Style is pretentious. Yeah. All right. All right. We made it out of the games. We did it, Toasty. Now we got to do this. We have a community support. We do. Community highlights is something we're doing now. There is a blind box drop in my Discord if you want to submit things to this. So we'll, we'll put them on the show. Probably. Unless they're not something we should put on the show. Then we won't. Uh, Dragon Jim reached 1,000 followers, which is awesome. Here's probably a moment or a clip. Here, I'll play this little We thing. did it! She's been waiting for it. We did it! We did it! Congratulations did it! to Dragon we Jet. That's a solid we achievement. Yeah, it is. So woot woot. It was a good goal to have. I'm glad we did. Hopefully she only has to cross it once. <laughs> I had to cross it twice because somebody unfollowed when I hit it. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, uh, Splat, Kilgore Trail. I have not actually watched this yet. The clip, I think Dan Van Dam posted it. It just keeps getting better. All right. <clears throat> what? Um, just Splat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it just keeps getting better. All right. Any idea what hit him? Uh, it looks like a building. It's like a... <laughs> it just keeps getting better. All right. <laughs> Dead man. Okay. We oh. just got... <laughs> Amazing. Okay, who's next? Um, a declaration of a sh 
of shield of penance. Damn, man, damn. Okay, it's clipped. It's hard to tell what these are. Just a second. Oh, no, he's mature. Just pop out of her just now. Got to start <laughs> over. What is this? What shield look like? Yeah, this just pop out of her just now. <laughs> what? <clears throat> she whips out the Declaration of Independence. Look at this. <laughs> That's quite the item. Amazing. Oh my. God. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it like this. All right. Who's next? Uh, Sakra has reached 200 and, or sorry, 350 followers. Her next goal is 386. At 386 and 486, she's going to be doing something special. Let's see where she's at now. Oh, what's Sakra? Mm. That was Steel Rising? Okay. All right, she's at 253. Oh, God damn it. 352. So she's really close to 386. Um, here's Sakura's link if you guys want to give her a follow. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What else we got? Uh, ah, yes, I added this one. Devil's Hideout. We're going to go look at this real quick. Uh, this is uh, Stephen Don and Aviv uh, Ken, uh, Cosmic Void. Uh, the new game they're working on it has a Kickstarter up and going. They're about halfway to their goal, it looks like. I slammed some money down on this. Uh, but here we can watch a little trailer. It's a uh, a horror themed point and click adventure game, similar to like Blood Nova and uh, uh, Twilight Oracle. I think that they were going to go voice acting on this, maybe? That's one of the goals. Voice acting really helped Twilight Oracle uh, uh, rise above. Did they? You can play the demo. Game features. Awards, goals. Okay, what we got here? That's just the things. I don't see anything about voice acting. Maybe not. Maybe it's our, okay, our main it. aim with this campaign is to secure funding for professional voiceovers. Cranking the horror, cranking up the horror in Devil's Hideout. Okay, good. So that is that is a goal there. Uh, but yeah, here's a here's a link. I'll put it in chat if you guys want to go toss some support to our good friend. That would be awesome. And I know he'd appreciate it. <clears throat> um, I I put I I went in for uh, having uh, to being able to tell a, a scary story in the game. Write a short scary story here. I went for what did I do? Two hundred. Portrait in the game? You know I'm going to do that again. Portrait in the game and writing a 200 word scary story. I think I'm just going to put part of Legends in there. Like the end of Legends 2 is, is going to be my story in this. So it's going to be full of typos. It'll be good. Yeah, that'll be good. It'll also be very scary because it'll be the part about uh, Bogle hearing me typing in the shower with the keyboard. And and the, the sweat perspire. T typing in the shower. Yes. Yeah. I have all my shower thoughts in there, but you gotta take something in to write them down with, or you lose them by the time you're dry. Oh, well, that's why you gotta use the IBM uh... mm -hmm. buckling spring, yeah. But yeah, that's our show. That's what we got. Toasty, when's your next stream? You doing tomorrow with that computer behind you? Right I, I, I'm actually, uh, yeah, probably tomorrow afternoon after I get back from the doctor. Nice. I hope that your doctor stuff goes well. You said you were having uh, back back issues. I hope that that isn't as serious yeah. as it always is. 
it's a long-term back issue. Hopefully there's something they can do for me, but you know how that goes. Yeah, I do. <clears throat> Who is All that? Right, well, yeah, thanks for uh, being here. We, 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 we do have a community event that just happened. Uh, the Control Fault Defeat Award got passed on in the retrosexual communities to CQ Wisdom. Oh, what did he do? Uh, he was playing Lunar early uh, last month and uh, completely botched up and could not save. So had to start again. Nice. The Control Fault Defeat is an award given to uh, streamers in good fun for doing something hilariously dumb. Like me forgetting my alphabet or Toasty disconnecting his modem while he was streaming. Because he yep. just had the urge to organize cable. You remember You remember when you were here and you got under my desk to mess with my cables? And I was like, please fucking don't. You just don't. Because <laughs> I know what happens. I've seen it. I've seen you disconnect yourself from a stream, being like, I have to fix that now. <laughs> yeah, right out of the wall the whole block. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Because we just see, like, the look, like, the moment your, your, your modem disconnected, you just have that, I just fucked up look on your face, and it's hung. It was hung there while the stream was frozen. <laughs> it's just like... Perfect. <laughs> the whole time. Who else, who else got in on that? Was, did Matt's game room get that once, or Alex? Team Wildwood, I can't uh, remember. Team Wildwood uh, just got rid of that one for uh, losing a Discord. <clears throat> oh, did he actually earn it for the Discord? Jeez. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he did earn it for that. Yeah, Team Wildwood clicked a link in his in his Discord, and the retrosexuals was taken over by hostile entities, and they just shot out all the moderators, and nobody could do anything about it. Yeah, it was uh, unfun for quite a while, but. It's all back and happy again now. And yeah, yeah. Retrospectives uh, is good. Um, running a couple of great challenges. The uh, the Barbie game challenge, Girl Games. Mm -hmm. Girl Game Gauntlet. And, and Dragon Spirit. What's Dragon Spirit? Uh, it's a NES uh, shoot 'em up game where you're a dragon. It's uh, really hard, looks like. Uh, Nerdwire was smashing his head against the, the controller playing it. Nice, nice. Dragon Spirit? People are liking Dragon Spirit. That's cool. I would be doing the Girl Game Gauntlet, but I'm in the middle of Demo Disc Gauntlet right now. And I already moved that up so that I could do Mados next month, which is the Windows 3.1 <laughs> thing that Namco's is putting on. Kind of like DOS Ember, but not DOS. Well, actually, Windows 3.1 is DOS, but... but Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> and then I, I think after that... Uh, that's going to be in April? May, June? May and June? Shit. June's gonna be... Um... Picked by somebody that redeems... Uh... The... Let me look at my reward queue. <laughs> Thanks, Zachary. Pick all of the games... For June. November. Yeah. So if somebody spends, what is it, like, uh, 40,000 channel, 400,000 channel points? How much? 200,000. Pick all of June's games. So if somebody spends that, I think Chester Man was talking about doing it. He's just ignoring. Well, if nobody picks it, it's Apple, but, um, Chaz was, there was like a whole logic behind this. She did redeem it. Okay. Apple can have it. Um, there was like a whole cool. thing where Chaz was like, oh, activate the thing so I can do it. And that was like four months ago and he never did it. And then she did it right out from under him. And I was like, but, but, um, so I, I gave her November, which is when she's going to be on my channel streaming as well. So, um, around there, October, November, probably just let Chaz, well, Chaz needs to get off his ass and do it. That's the thing. Uh, but maybe Apple will be picking all of my games. See, I'll just I'll just remind Apple that she has to dig through my library and find games to play. And she'll be like, "Oh yeah, about that. Uh, I'll do November." So Sims DLC one on this day, and then this Sims DLC on day two. Well, she's taking care of all the Sims content, so I never have to stream it again. A full month of House Flipper? No, it's gonna be a different game every day. And I have total control over extra streams because I have things I need to get done. There is a backlog. It it has to be respected. It has to be respected, yeah. Alright. I'll find somebody to rate. 
Uh, Kinnikos said that he was going to be streaming again on the 13th of May. Or no, this month. 13th of April. Um, I thought I saw. Okay. Let's see. Let's see who's live here. Find somebody from Retrosexuals, or do you have any recommendations? Um, so, looking through the list, there's uh, a few friends on. I see Nukem and Rush Jesus. Pirate. Bogus Meat Factory's on. Ooh. Thank you, Kenikos. Nukem is playing CNC. Man, there's too many good choices tonight. What's Bogus Meat Factory doing? Gothic? We can go over there and do some gothic. I always I always like to start at the bottom. Find find people with like work my way up, you know? Oh mine mine's not sorted by viewers. <clears throat> Infamous Lestat. Is that used to be Vampiric Lestat? Is that the same person? Drives me nuts when like I like, I know I didn't follow this person. <laughs> We'll just, we'll just, we'll just rock on over to, uh, um, blah, 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 Bogus Meat Factory. See that. It's too many, it's like choice overload over here, you know? All right. We'll go do that. Toasty, thank you so much for being here. Um, thanks for having me. Yeah. Folks, remember tomorrow Cheers. morning. 10 p.m. 10 a.m. Pacific. My wife's gonna be playing Sims content, Sims Classic. Um, tomorrow night probably we'll be streaming some non-interactive uh, Baldur's Gate 3 whenever Chili gets around. I don't know when that's gonna be. Also gonna be like doing a bunch of gardening stuff tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, otherwise, Demo Disc Gauntlet returns on Monday, and we'll be doing Last Epoch with Sakura. Me and Apple will be on Monday night. And uh, the next extra stream game that will be starting Tuesdays and Thursdays is going to be, finally, Outcast. Ta-da! We're going to do Outcast. I'm, I'm looking forward to more demos. Yeah, me too. The demos are fun. I'm lo what really looking forward to Outcast. I've been trying to get to that game for like three years. It's finally upon us. So we'll go from Outcast Classic to Outcast 2. Big stuff. Big stuff. I think we're actually going to, like, try to get through the Stalker games and get to Stalker 2 when it comes out in September. Ooh. Maybe. A good one. Maybe. Because God knows that's going to be a buggy game. They have a history, it, you know. It's got a bit of jank to it, but I've played quite a bit of it and enjoyed it. All right. We're raiding. Thanks, everybody. Love you. Have a great weekend, otherwise. Night, everyone. All right. Night. <laughs>